everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Final Fantasy X. <clears throat> Excuse the throat. I was about to mention that. Throat is being uh, a bit shitty right now, so if I'm clearing it constantly, I do apologize for trying to do that, because I know it doesn't sound great. But uh, I'll, I'll try. I'll, uh, I'll try and mute or whatever when I do it. But yeah, my throat is, is kind of killing me at the moment. Okay, so... Uh, let's use these points to uh, get EXP and uh, abilities and stuff. Well, not EXP, but you know what I'm saying. Get stats. What is gay rabbit? I don't... I don't know, man. I'm not even gonna... I was meant to say I thought wrestling was a section on gay rabbit. I'm just like... You know what? Just... Just, uh... We're just gonna go, mm-hmm, and then move along. We're just, we're just gonna move along from that comment. Don't... I don't even know where to dissect that, you know? I would need a microscope and tweezers. And some rubber gloves. Smile or not, exactly. Mm-hmm, yeah, gay rabbit, mm-hmm, yeah. Yep, yeah, but oh yeah, I, I see what you mean. All right, hang on, so we can break into here because we do have a little two key spin now. That kind of rhymed a little bit. We have four of them? Fucking what? When do we get, when do we get the other three? I don't remember getting that many. So anyway, uh, whose grid is this? Oh, this is Titus's. So we could break into Titus's grid. You know what, uh, Titus can take his grid and he can shove it up his ass. We don't want his grid, he can keep it. Frankly, he can keep it. I mean, have, having said that, actually, busting in there just to learn haste might be worth it. So two people with haste is better than none, right? Like, and haste is really close. But it only costs us a few moves. So I'm actually tempted just to go and get that. But I think there is a haste to go, isn't there? That, like, haste the whole party? So you would think Tyus is probably getting kind of close to that. But I'm too lazy to check. So, uh, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, considering that, I guess we'll, we'll just wait till he gets haste to go. It's not I don't have an all-time favorite. I like many, so I can't pick one. Jericho and Edge, Orton. Mm, yeah, Orton is, uh... You probably feel the same way about Orton that I do now. Is that Randy Orton, back in his prime, during, like, you know, the Legend Killer thing, where he was taking out, like, you know, Dusty Roads and what have you. R.I.P. Dusty Roads. Uh, and people like that, and, you know, like, feuding with Triple H, you know... DD DDTing Stephanie and what have you. What is this? Use. Do we want the use ability? Uh, probably yes. How do we get there? How, how do we get there? Oh, I have to backtrack. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, oh my god, it's a lot of backtracking. Should have got there earlier, but I kind of missed that. But, you know, it's what it is. We pay for our sins. Anyway, during during all that shit, Randy Orton was great. But, like, Randy Orton's been Blandy Orton, or Blandy Borton, as people call him now, for many years. Like, he just, he, he clearly doesn't have any passion for what he does. He just kind of, he phones it in. You know, that's the best way to describe it. Randy just phones it in. Like, he just goes out there, does what he needs to do. It's never bad, but it's just not memorable. Like, nothing he does is memorable, man. Fucking Blandy Borton, I don't know, yeah. So, Randy, like, at, for a time was my favorite, but he's just so boring now. Yeah, he's reducing his schedule, so he's just not used properly. I mean, yeah, but also, like, don't get me wrong, like, he's not putting good storylines and stuff like that, but, yeah, he also just, I mean, maybe he doesn't have the passion because he's not in good storylines. Who knows, right? It's like the chicken or the egg, what came first? I don't know, but all I know is that Randy Orton is a character, whether it's his fault or not, he's at least partially responsible. It just doesn't interest me. It used to be great, literally used to be my favorite for a while, but nah. Same thing to a degree with Dolph Ziggler, like, in his prime, Dolph Ziggler was, as stupid as his name is, Dolph Ziggler was literally my favorite pro wrestler, he was the shit. Um, I still think he's good, you know, he has great matches and everything like that. But, uh, again, they, they don't really use him properly, I guess it's more the problem with Ziggler, I, I don't really blame that on Ziggler so much. Uh, you don't, it's, uh, I don't think these, uh, new producers and writers know how to use him. I mean, yeah, yeah, there, there's definitely... Definitely problems with the uh, the writing and what have you. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's Vince McMahon. Like, we've been over this before, like, Vince... Vince has the final say-so on everything. And until he gives up some of that power and actually, you know, lets Triple H or whatever step in... Because Triple H is great. Triple H... I didn't really like Triple H the wrestler, but Triple H, you know... Paul Levesque, the man who's actually running NXT... He's really good at running NXT. He knows what he's doing. What up, Phantom? How are you? We're talking about wrestling, so all the people who don't care about wrestling can be like, fuck this shit. Uh, but the fans are now in change, right? 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 What do you, wait, what do you mean in change? Oh, in charge. In charge. Yeah, that's what they said. They're like, you're the authority now. That's my Triple H impression. <laughs> it's like, no, I see, I don't want to be in charge, Triple H. I want you to be in charge. I specifically want Triple H to be in charge. I don't want Vince to be in charge. I don't want Stephanie to be in charge. I want Triple H, Paul Levesque, the man, to be in charge. 
I want in his random box. Just forget Vince, right? He's like 72 and he's been out of touch for about 20 years. Use low on key sphere near Walker. You cannot make me, but I'll consider it just for you. Oh my god, we're getting so much HP and damage on Titus. It's glorious. Titus might actually be our strongest character now. We just leveled up his strength a shitload. All right, we finally used all our key spheres. Uh, where's Walker? The one near Walker gets us two, it's only two points of strength, but I mean, we'll do it. But we got to backtrack like a point to do that. So uh, anyway, let's have a look at our stats and see if I'm correct. 38, 21, 5, Jesus. 33, 36, 38. Okay, so he's joint strongest. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. I've shaved that shit. Never been to wrestling myself, but each to their own. Yeah, I know. I know. It's not for everyone. Hey, relax. This ship still got some fight left in her. Yes, um, Asuka, Becky Lynch. Probably two of the most interesting uh, professional wrestlers on TV now, I would say. Aren't we supposed to go fight like the Guado because they invade our ship or some shit? Yeah, I believe that's what's happening. Let's go have a look in here, see if we can rescue anyone. Who needs to be rescued? Oh my god! What the shit? Random flying eyeball dudes. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men. Will you stop confusing everybody? Couldn't you confuse- Jesus Christ, he critted himself. Couldn't you confuse Lulu or something? Yeah, you people are the worst. Yeah. Alright, knock that bastard out. There we go. Yeah! 2,000 damage. Did you see that shit? Damn you, Jason. I was about to go eat food, and I saw you were streaming. Now I'm forced to stay here. You're right. You, you cannot go. Hello, DB. There is nowhere else. Oh, my God, Walker. You're more beast than man. Uh, I don't know how he attacks so quick, but I'll take it. Yeah, there's literally no option. You have to be here now. Uh, stay. We still don't have you. I keep forgetting that. I keep going to heal between battles, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, heal is gone. Just wipe away a tear. Sad face and shit. Leave me alone. Yep, no one in here. What is this? Is this just, uh... Yeah, it's one of the Albed synthesizers. I don't know what you synthesizer. You can shove it. Anyway, um... Uh, if we're talking about NXT, then yes, Alistair Black. I mean, Johnny Gargano and Champa are cool. But they're definitely not my favorite on, um... I know this is absolute blast for me. They're definitely not my favorite on... On NXT, I really like. Uh, Why well, can't I remember what they're called? Also, we missed the we missed the twelve because we're terrible. Uh, the undisputed era. I really like the undisputed era. And let's be honest, so do the crowd. Because uh, rarely have I heard a pop as loud. And pop is when the crowd goes woo like that. That's a pop. Rarely have I heard a pop as loud as when the undisputed era come out. And everyone does the uh, you know, baby thing. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. If you don't know wrestling, you have no idea what I'm saying. The Adam Cole. So, the leader of the Undisputed Era is called Adam Cole. And his thing is he says, Adam Cole, baby! And the crowd chant along with it. And it's like, it's it's great. You know, when the crowd are into it, it's great. It's one of those things. Like, when the crowd is dead, it doesn't matter how good the match is. It, like, really, it makes the match feel way less, way less special. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Like, if the crowd aren't into it, it's hard to get into it yourself. At least that's how I feel. Uh, we already have the abilities from these dudes. We've already fought them a thousand times, so let's speed up the battle. Uh, I guess we'll just thwack you with Kamari. Again, we do quite a bit of physical damage now, so we don't need to worry too much. We can just, you know, a couple of hits that down. Like a clown and Charlie Brown, son. I know I should be switching people in. Frankly, I can't be asked. Uh, we'll do it at some point properly, but I just kind of want to get through this story section at the moment. We can start flying the ship and what have you. What are you doing? We'll leave the other compartments to you. Okay, you do that. I guess he took someone out. I don't know. The way he's talking is as if he did something. Did you do hello? It's too cramped to call Aeons here. Oh, excuses. Fight to you. Show us your stuff. Excuses. Oh, it's too cramped for me to summon here. I'll just say you do all the work. Three bombs? I got five kids to feed. That's way too many bombs. Let's use Lulu. I can't believe we still don't have Blizzard on her. That's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Hey, Crystal up the ass. Alright, Kamari, what about you, son? Oh, just thwack, thwack it. I think Oran can take it out. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, no one will. It's okay. Oh, you're talking to DB. You physically have me chained... Oh, no, you are talking to me. Yeah, you physically have me chained to around... 10,000? 10,000 pounds of metal. With only a computer and a router in front of me. Well, you know. There are worse things that could happen to you, you know? There are worse punishments you can bestow upon a man than watching my live stream. There are worse punishments. Yoink. Bomb cause. I'll take it. I guess since we've used most people here, we're switching the last two Muppets. Actually, I don't think I even did an attack with Kamari. Did I attack with Kamari? 
I think I did attack with Kamari. Alright, so let's get you in. So, again, weirdly enough, water not, like, especially effective against these dudes, even though they're literally made of fire. But, you know, video games, they don't make sense. Jason, I have a very important question for you. This is not going to be a question, or is it? I'm debating whether to get Domino's, or, yeah, that's what I thought, uh, or Pizza Hut. Domino's, Domino's. Domino's, Domino's. If it's anything like the Domino's and Pizza Hut where I live, Pizza Hut is shit where I am. Now, I've, I've, I've been told by people that there are good Pizza Huts, but the one by me, the pizza is, like, doughy and just not very good whereas the dominoes is fucking great like i'm talking literally i have still never what how do i leave i've still never had a better pizza than the pepperoni passion that you get from the dominoes where i live it's so good now occasionally they undercook it a little bit so you know the cheese isn't melted quite as much as you want like it's not you know golden brown and occasionally they overcook it so it's a little black but it's kind of rare usually it's like pretty spot on and it's fucking great. Huh. Now there's a rare sight. Whoa, that's huge. Thanks, Titus. It's all there before. What is that? I have a giant cock. The guardian worm, Evre. That's a cool name. The great sacred beast, protector of Bavel. <laughs> the red carpet has teeth. It reminds Wait, me. That means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me. Has anyone seen that movie? I think it's We're called Teeth. Fight that thing. Get on deck and show him what you got. Go! With some woman's vagina has teeth. There he goes again. The ferryman asks a high price. And it like bite bites people in half that try and have sex with her or something. You saw that. Was it good? Open the hatch. We fight. Evray is truly mighty. Be anyway. Uh, the pizza near you is very good. The Domino's is decent as well. I still say Domino's, but I mean, if you say the pizza is good, I don't know, flip a coin. Well prepared. What are you buying? What are you selling? Uh, I don't think we want any of this. We kind of looked at this. I think he's got the same stuff. It's a bit shit. I'm sorry, Rin. Pay? If we lose, you'll die too, buddy. I have faith in your victory. Man's gonna make a living. Dang. He's investing in the future in case he lives, you know? It was strange as fuck. Maybe made it halfway through before you turned it off. Yeah. That's kind of how I figured it would go. You gotta trust my judgment and get dominoes. But like I say, the one near me is great. I don't know what it's like near you. I don't think you even live in this country, do you? There's a giant scary worm of death. They're gonna shoot it. I think this is part of the fight. I think you sort of give commands with Titus or whatever and be like, FIRE THE CANNON! Yep. I don't remember how to do this at all, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Secretly living in my walls. Ah, that's what that noise is. And that smell. Tell me quick, huh? This rig ain't so nimble, you hear? You hear? I'll give the commands. Yeah, let's, alone, let's leave Titus in charge. That seems like a great idea. He's not massively inept. No, not at all. Never had to use Trick Master to move in and pull back to just disbelieve the airship and every hour Titus will give these orders. Uh, given all the city to move the airship on the next time the council. So, uh, I don't know what distance we want is the, th is the thing. Like, do we want to pull back from here or we got? I don't know. Let's just give it a smack. I think this is quite a hard boss. But I'm, oh my god, that's fucking loud. Zero Sparky, thank you so much for the bits. Very kind of you as always, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I don't... I, I, I say this all the time. Like, I keep saying, oh, this boss is hard, and then we end up, like, ruffle stomping it. But I do actually think this one's hard. But I guess we'll see. It's got 32,000 HP, and it takes half damage from every single element. So, yeah. It's got a poison breath attack after inhaling. Oh, okay. So when it inhales, we want to pull the ship back. That's what they're telling me. Nice. Nice. Uh, I don't know. Just give it a smack. And a boy. And a boy. Hey, stop it. I think that's a a, a, a counterattack. Uh, so, can we dark it? I bet Dark Buster works. Did that say immune? I, d I couldn't actually see. It sounded like it was immune because it makes like a different sound effect. Like, sort of like a shield. Sierra Hotel in the Ekalumi Delta Shield. It, uh, poison's very unlikely to work on a poison enemy, or it's just going to heal it or something, but it's immune. So Lulu is useless for this. Well, not useless, I guess. 
Well, hey, she's useless now. She's a fucking statue. Um, yeah, no, I guess not useless exactly. You know, she, uh... She, where's me soft? S-A-W-F-T. So, how am I? I'm good, Natalie. How are you? Hey, anyway, um... Basically, she still does damage, but it's half damage. So she's she's half as effective. Okay, we can Dark Buster it. Good. So Walker is the fellow we, we used up. Is that is that in is it inhaling? Probably inhaling. Wait, trigger command? Oh no, it's overdrive. Never mind. Uh, so let's I guess pull the ship back. I I don't pull know. Back, pull back! Pull Just out, man! It. Oh my god! Excuse me. Oh, it doesn't the next turn. That's right. Hmm. He's no longer Dark Buster. That was Dark Buster again. Hey, 4,000 damage, you man beast. This is bloody brutal. Let's try, uh, I don't know, Blizzard. Again, it's not going to do that much damage, but it's, you know, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I can't get it above five. I don't know why. Man, that was pathetic. That was don't pathetic. Don't be falling now. Don't be falling now, boy. I found my new favorite British insult, which would have to be calling someone an uphill gardener. Uh, that's that's an interesting insult. That's interesting. Uh, let's haste people. Let's do that. Yeah, that seems like a thing to do. Let's haste yourself. Yeah. Haste, boys. Out of breath range. Oh, what a shame, you little bitch. All right, so we can go back in there. Lovely. And then what we're going to do, we're going to play a small guy, switch to Riku. And then we're gonna be like, move in, bitch. Or Kuhin Suna, or whatever she said. Alright, cool. And then uh, we're gonna wait, wait, uh, we, uh, we, I, I don't know, yeah, sure. I'm not gonna use either of these characters, so it's, it's almost irrelevant. Uh, but you know, whatever. Can I. Well, can Walker, for example. No, you're not Walker. You're fake. Can I Walker him from here? Probably not. Well, fucking hell, you can. Damn, son, you got some range on that ball. Photon spray. That sounds. That seems bad. But I want to be photon sprayed. No, no, I don't. I'm guessing that would have done a lot more damage if we were closer. Yeah, we're I don't know that. Either a cheesy and surrender monkey. I've only ever heard that in The Simpsons, but that is great. I'll give you that. You just got back from a workout and you're only dying a lot. Yeah, I don't work out. I should. I really, I really should. I, I, I really should. I, uh, I respect people to work out. I'm like, you know what? I respect that. Cross A, left, right, A. Yeah! Didn't fuck it up once. Alright, that was, that was acceptable damage. I can accept that. Here's the thing. I'll level with you. I'm tempted not to move the airship. I know that sounds ridiculous. Will you stop it? I'm tempted not to move the airship. I'm tempted just to kind of tank the poison. Because it takes kind of a while, doesn't it, really? Literally, we definitely want to get out of here. We want to get Tyson so we can haste our better people. Oh, better half. There we go. Right, you get out of here. Get Cyrus in. And then you, you get haste in these fellas. So we haste Walker because he's obviously the most important one. He's, oh my god, his head looks so weird there. He can dark buster him. And now he's, I mean, just smack him again, I guess. He's still dark. There we go. Out of boy. You can haste yourself. Oh, that's unacceptable. Can I remove haste from you? Is that a thing I can remove? What if I slow you? Will that remove your haste? Yeah, bitch. Wait, it missed? What? Excuse me? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Well, well shit. Um, I guess power break? Well, I guess I, uh, the, the breath is probably magic, right? But it is clawing me a fair bit. That's it sucking in breath. Ah, we should back up, shouldn't we? We can't need to heal. Yeah, all right. Let's pull back. Pull back, back. Then we can heal up with potions. You know what? Sure. Sure. Why not? Right? Sure. You will... Uh, da, 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 dark Buster. Eh, eh. Stuck on that one. What? I pressed pull back. I can't do any quicker than that. Okay. Oh, it's hasted. Oh, that's right. Shit. Oh, bollocks in a can. Uh, who else is not... Auron is not hasty. There we go. You do that. Lovely. Hmm. Well, the tires are dead. Uh, you know, we had it coming. Uh, do we have a, a Mega Phoenix? We do not. We we do not. Alright. Revive that prick. 
This is good, though, because we're about to pull back on the ship, are we not? I'm, uh, I'm still waiting for that to happen, but that should be happening any moment, and then that should give us a chance to, uh, to heal our peoples up. Yo, will you stop healing over? Alright, thank you. Bloody hell. Well, to be fair, Willie said that, and he's not English. He's, uh, he's Scottish. But yeah, you know, it's it's fun to poke. It's fun. I mean, it's it's just a thing that. What the shit? That seems bad. He's closer now, isn't he? What? What? Uh, I would like to move the ship again. Go back, farther away. Can you stop being fast as hell, boy? Uh, mega potion. Yes, I will mega potion. This seems quite pertinent. Lovely. Hey, we're alive. Oh, good. It's doing the breath attack again. Oh, oh, joy. I do so like being poisoned. Yes. All right, we're getting out of the way. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's kind of a thing, you know, just making fun of the French. They've always kind of been our rivals in that way. It's but it's more in a friendly way, I would say. Uh, <laughs> I've never done. Of course, I've never made fun of anyone in my life, except fat people. They're gross. No, I'm kidding. Swooping sight, or am I? I mean, it's bit, they are gross, but you know, I, I, I don't make I don't make a habit of making fun of them. You can be as gross as you want, you know. As long as I have to see you naked, then we got a problem. All right, haste. And none of us haste. Oh, because we all died. Oh, that's right. It removes haste. I forgot about that. What's a bunch of bollocks? Let's get rid of this power breaking. Yeah, you little bitch nipple. Take it. Take it like the whore that you are. All right. Now, you, I would like you to uh, haste walker. So we can whack it with a walker. Thank you, sir. Stop. Okay, he's doing way less physical damage now. That, that I'm a fan of. Dark boss room. And a boy. Oh, my God. Yes. You fucking wrecked. Did we use everyone in this battle? I don't know if we did. I hope so. Going down, sir. I don't know what he's saying. I see Bevel, I think, maybe. Is that what he said? Oh, Black Magic's in the soft harsh. That's, uh, I think, a re Riku? I think it's a Riku armor thing that, you know, prevents petrification, which would have been handy for that fight, but, you know, I guess we can use it in the future. There's a lot of things in this game that like to petrify you. Look at the pretty cutscene. Oh, I remember this cutscene. I remember. If you recall, we're going to go save Yuna from her marriage with Seymour Guado of the Guado. And his silly fucking hat. That's the biggest crime today. Let's be honest. It's the, it's the fashion disaster going on here. She looks lovely, though. 10 out of 10 dress. Um, I mean, the robe's kind of... The hat ruins it, though. You know? To be fair, they all have silly hats. Where's the... Uh, who has a last name from the place they are from? Well, it's not even the place. It's it's uh, a race. The Guado are a race. Same with the Ronzos. They're all called, like, something Ronzo. I was thinking that, actually, earlier. I was like, it'd be like being called Jason White Guy. Or, like, Steve Black Guy. Or John Asian. Just weird. The Asian sensation. Arm wave. It's nobles again. Oh yeah, these robo things are annoying. Because you know, everything that hits you is annoying. Did you remember they hit really hard with like it's some kind of cannon attack? Here I come to save the day! Man, she looks really pasty in that. Is it just me or does she look way whiter than normal? I mean, she's always pretty white, but... She looks... she looks ill. Get 
guess. We are riding along some kind of wire. Like we're surfing it. Why? Because it was cool. Seriously though, nice dress. Like, Yuna's never looked better. Alright, I vaguely remember this part. Yuna! Don't worry, I'll rescue you from the marriage! For I am going to marry you, because you're right my love there, interest. Seymour. Yes, Seymour! Man, you people are all weak. Clobbered, son. Take that, you red bastard. Excuse me? Will you stop shooting me? Who throws a shoe? I mean, honestly. Am I out with that thing? There we go. Get bloody wrecked. We got no chance. Now those robot cannon things. Like I said, we got 88 grand. That's a lot of grant. Get out of here. Oh, those things kick you. Can't you learn kick or something from them with the with what's his face? I think you can launch at them with Kamari. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, that thing. Just like boots you out of the battle. Yep, there there he goes. All right, that was that was just bloody rude. All right, uh, launch it. Gimme, gimme. Yeah, we learned Thrust Kick. Very tempted to try it. Very tempted to try it. Stop it! Stop it! And I'm killing me in this, right? Well, no, he's not. Dunked! Check out the music. My music's so good. Alright, we kind of could use some healing. Hey, we're gonna get a, a, summon a summoner healer back soon. Yeah, I mean, she's also a summoner. So that'd be nice. You know, unless we don't rescue her. Spoilers. Maybe she'll die like Ares. Maybe she will. Oh, almost, almost attacked myself. That would have been embarrassing. Oh, hey, we got an overdrive. Stab it. Stab it. Look how slow their attacks are. All right, go back to Titus. Yeah, there we go. We should be close to the third overdrive. We've had Slice and Dice forever, man. Hit me. Happy Joby. There's no way of controlling, like, who he attacks, so sometimes, as you see, he will just attack the same guy again and again and again, and do no damage to the other dude. Exactly like that. What's a plonker? What an absolute useless git with stupid blonde hair. I'm just jealous. I'm jealous of his hair. Look at the ability spheres. Oh! God damn it, Miller. Alright, it's Thrust Kick McGee again. I'm gonna see if we can Thrust Kick that out of the battle with Gamori, but I kind of doubt it. Yes, they have like an axe kick as well. Because they're apparently judo masters. Alright, let's see if this works. I really doubt it. But we'll try. Nope, does quite a bit of damage though. Hey, man. Damn, Jason pulling out the British vocab for that one. Dude, British vocab is the best vocab. Now, accents. Eh, it's kind of 50-50. Why do we have another overdrive and Titus? How did that happen? Ah! How did that happen? What? Because I definitely didn't hit the overdrive button because I haven't touched them. I don't know why you had another overdrive, but sure, whatever. Uh, I wonder if we can launch at this thing. We should probably try... He might be able to one shot, so let's wait a second. Lance it. Can I learn anything from you? No. No, I cannot. What a bunch of bollocks. Ow! That's what I mean. That hits bloody hard. Yeah. Get smacked. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We created him. That's why we did 6,000 damage. The accents just make the vocab even better. Eh, it depends on the accent. Depends on the accent. Same with Americans. There's, um... I, I've been watching a lot of Hell's... Not Hell's Kitchen. Uh, Kitchen Nightmares recently, and it's made me hate New York accents. Like, don't talk to me like that. Enough. Give me a coffee. And I'm like, ah! Please stop, stop talking. Look at his buff manly arm. You just shove the barrel of your gun up Kamari's ass. Why not? She has one green eye and one eye that is blue. I wonder if that's plot relevant. <laughs> Get off my damn pop filter. <laughs> there we go. He 
Here, you I got you a gift. Play at marriage just for a chance to send me? It is a stick. Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. Yeah, but I didn't think it would fill the entire overdrive bar just getting a kill. <laughs> Seems a little ridiculous. Maybe that's why it's so good. I don't know. Stop! It's Mr. Micah. I'm so old. Do you not value your friends' lives. It looks like Wang, or Wong from uh, Tekken. You know the guy. Your actions determine their fate. The old Asian man. Protect them, or throw them away. His veiny penis face is really gross. The choice is yours. Now we're being threatened by an old man. Kick him off the edge, Yuna. Uppercut him with the stick. Oh, you know, fucking drop it, you bitch. Is that not the, uh, the rod that I got from the first temple? I worked hard for that. Is it Boston in New York, or is that near it? Boston. She does look really pale. And maybe it's the hair, but she looks 10 years younger. She looks barely legal. No, I don't think she was that legal in the first place. And Walker looks 10 years older. Gross. Gross PDA. Well, at least she's enjoying it. That's statutory rape. I hope you know that. Just because she's your wife doesn't mean she has to kiss you. Statutory rape. Though, if you've married someone, they don't want to kiss you. But it is for Yevon. Something went wrong there. Weapons forbidden by Yevon. There are exceptions. Man, he's got a shaky no! hand. He's got a really shaky hand. Throw down your weapons. Let them go, or else. Or else, more bad lip sync. Oh, also, I'll throw myself off the edge. Dude, those hills though. It's like a fucking like dominatrix. This northeast is where the Americans decide to throw away some tea. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, that is true, isn't it? I, like the whole red coat thing and what have you or something. I don't know. Now, please. Because wasn't that where AC3 was set? Don't worry, go. This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. I mean, I think that's what she was going for. <laughs> yeah, and then she just trips because of the heels. Oh, yeah. I can fly. She's R. Kelly. Believe. Next, she'll be pissing on <laughs> underage youth. So if I know people on the internet, some people would fucking love to see that. Me, not one of them, but I guarantee there are a lot of people that would. Oh fuck no, she's dead. It's Iris all over again. Damn you, veiny forehead! You look like a throbbing cock. Oh yeah, that's right, she's got an A on the floor. I forgot about that. Well, isn't that convenient? The Valifor is not quite so useless after all, but still looks like some weird eldritch horror. Cover your eyes! But just brightly colored. Smoke bomb of GSDS. I mean, flash bomb of whatever. Ah, my eyes! The gargoyles, they do nothing! What, what was that? The flashbang, you muppet. There you go. Let me go. I'm gonna <laughs> kill that Seymour. Cover your eyes. Ah, oh, my eyes. Yuna said leave. We leave. We'll join up with her. We later. get the fuck out of here. Break through. 
We're going through to the end of this turn. Say palace is temple. Yuna goes to one place only. To hell. The chamber of the faith. The chamber of the faith. Talking really quickly. What about the save point? Can I go back outside and use the save point, please? It's too is, quiet. Is this the Bahamut place? Oh God, tell me it's not. A trap. Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us. Huh? And Kamari sounds like Randy Savage. No, <laughs> not What's at all. What's not doing in the temple? You need to hear some Randy Savage, apparently. I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I need. The teachings. What about the teachings? Kamari sounds more like. Hey, don't look at me. Kratos. Boy. All right, let's go back outside. We are. We can't go outside. Fuck it. It is Bahamut. No. 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 Oh God. I don't remember how to do this, but it's confusing as hell. And hello, Eric. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. Ugly face. Walker is fucking huge. He treated us like dirt. He's like way bigger than Auron. And what a large ginger man. What do we do with this? Absolutely nothing. Alright then. Oh god. We we probably gonna walk through for this. How much do I think Walker can bench? I think he can bench at least three Titus's. To the trials. I wonder if Uni's really in there. Let's go and see. Let's go. Okay, let us do that. Awkward dialogue. Let me, let me, let me move. Me, me. Hello. Oh, this is a point here as well. Why is there one outside? What's up with that? Did we even get to use that? I don't think we did. did. Was that the one we used? I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, it's definitely the Bahama Temple. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. I have no idea how to do this. I know there's elevators. Lots of elevators. And you have to like steer them or something. And you have to go take them down different paths to loop around to get the destruction sphere somehow. And it's really confusing. And you can... Almost like a minecart track. You know how you can sort of like flip the direction that a minecart goes in? It's sort of like that. Oh Jesus. Alright, so we can only go in one direction. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Book on floor on walkway by safe point. How did you not see? Oh my fucking god. Alright, hang on. Go back and get the book then. You know, if you told me this uh, 10 seconds ago, I could have gotten the book. But someone wasn't ready. Someone was too busy, uh, I don't know, masturbating? I don't know what you were doing. Final Fantasy X Project, 1999 to 2002. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's an old video game. Yo. Let me in. Thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Where's this book? Oh, wow. That, that blends in. Come on now. Come on now. I got the Albert Primer, everyone. J equals V. What up, Tony? How are you? Tony! But I left the note on the table. No one gets that reference. No one gets, I mean, I barely get a reference. Let's go! Oh, this is hell. I did, but you didn't see it, and there is a delay me sitting in. See, I know. To be fair, though, <clears throat> my delay is very small. Now, obviously, it's for my own live stream, but um, my delay is like three seconds or something. It's pretty swish. Yo, well, just got a haircut. Nice. I just shaved my head. What with not really having hair and all. It's like, I, I'm like, why would I pay someone to do this? I can do it for free. <laughs> That's thinking with your noodle. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you see, we got to click at the right times. That's what it is. Oh, bloody hell. All right. Hello, Hemo Schnubber. How's it going? Okay. So, basically... Oh, it's fucking hell. Uh, all right, I'm trying to figure out what we do here. So that's how you power up different tracks and flip them and what have you. Uh, it gives us a path, otherwise you fall down or something. I don't know. So can we even... Hang on. Ah, push the friggin' thing, Titus, you tit! And you don't push it if it doesn't have a spear in. That's my guess. 
That was a good guess, wasn't it? All right, so uh, yeah, that's another problem. Not bad working a lot. You, I am okay. I am okay. I worked yesterday. It was boring as shit. That's the main problem of my job. It's very boring. Very, very boring. All right, let's rewrite this puppy. I can send myself backwards like that. And then it obviously rotates, and then it's confusing as hell. So we see if we can go on the right now. Here we go. So is there anything here that we can maybe pick up like another... There is another orb. Okay, so we could now pick it up and put it on the other side. You know what I'm saying? But this is probably going to power something else down. Or perhaps not. I don't really know. Again, trial and error. Trial and error. Every damn one of these things. What up, Thomas? How's it going, man? How was life? Right, which direction are we going in? No clue. The wrong way. Yeah. Turn myself around. Uh, sure, we'll put this on the left. Seems seems like an idea, right? I don't fucking know. Actually, let's listen to the uh, the remixed version of this music, just just because. Okay, very similar. Just doesn't sound quite as good so far. Just sounds like worse audio quality. Maybe that's me. Maybe it's just better audio quality, but it's different. So my brain's like, it's worse. Alright, so now we'll try going back the way we originally came. And see what we can do there. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Hear me. Alright, we turn around, boys. And there is a track on the left. Do you see? Let's go this way, I suppose. And see where this takes us. Besides the obvious, which is downstairs. So, oh, it's three directions. Oh, oh, good. Let's go left. I have no reason for that. I've just, I've just decided. You're seeing why the Bahama Temple is confusing. Oh, you're seeing it, all right. Oh my God, so fast! Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, I could not click in time on those. What's over here then? Mm, another one of those things. Okay. We need to be carrying one of us to do that. That's, uh, I think that's where we put the destruction sphere over there, if I remember correctly. Pretty damn certain of that. So, uh, or at least we know that. That's where we put the destruction sphere. But again, you see there's a gap there, so we got to power it up with the thing next to me. We've got to get a regular orb in there, so we have a path to the destruction sphere. We can only go this way at the moment. Yay. Where in the hell am I? I think we're back at the beginning of the path that we were on just a moment ago. So I think we're just at the other end of the same path. I think. Yes, it's quite fast. Alright, let's go this way now. Again, I, I don't know why, but we're just seeing if we can find orbs and shit. Yeah, so what's over here then? Probably nothing at all. Um, Looks like we can continue in that direction if we push the... Sure. Let's try it. So much China. So good. Now I've lost a little over 20 pounds since mid-November. Dude, nice. That's that's very quick. I lost about like 25 pounds last year. And I've basically been at the same weight since then. Uh, okay, so we need to mess around with that because that's a dead end at the moment. Okay. Okay, good to know. Good to, uh, good to know. Interesting. Yeah, good job, man. I still need to lose about 10 pounds to be at, you know... I do the weight. Uh, but I see the problem is I like, you know, Chinese food too much. So, kind of floating around the exact same weight. But hey, I'm not gaining it. So, could be worse. I'm considerably less fat than I was. So, you know, that's a bonus. All right, we have another orb here. This is, this is good. We need this. However, it looks like it's going to power down this. But then again, wasn't that a dead end anyway? Was it not? Uh, hang on. Hold on a moment. Yes, okay, so you see the arrow, you see the arrow on the green glyph to the right of me turns off when we remove this. However, if we go in that direction, what is going to happen? Because if there's no arrow to send us backwards, what happens? I feel I must know. You may also notice there's actually two recesses on this pillar. So you can essentially have three orbs. You can have two in the pillar and one in your hand. Which, yes, you're going to need to do that at some point. Exactly what you're going to need to do. 
Uh, we're gonna try going straight ahead. Just to sort of see where it takes us. It takes us back to the beginning. Okay. I just sent myself backwards! Dear, I didn't mean to do that! Ah! Chinese is amazing, this is true, yes. I had Chinese today. This is why I'm referencing it. <laughs> uh... Fucking hell, where am I? Um, okay, so we, we got the yeah, we got the orb on the left, we put it on the right. This, where does this take me? Have I tried this yet? Hey, chair. I don't know. Bab, you thanks so much for subscribing for four months in a row. Very kind of you. I actually uh, have my ten month anniversary on your stream, and I clicked on your stream. Apparently, as you went offline, and I was like, oh, okay. I keep doing that. Like the amount of times I click on your stream, and you know, like a little after someone finishes streaming, it still shows up that they're live, and then you click on it. But they're not alive anymore. That keeps happening. I'm like, son of a bitch. Uh, hmm. I guess we, okay. We have to go left, right? <laughs> we have to go left. Yes. Uh, because the, these aren't any use to us right now. So we have to go this way. So what are we messing around with? It has to be down here, I believe. And again, we have one orb. Oh god, it goes straight ahead as well. Ah, oh, it's so confusing. Let's try going this. This way. This way. This way. I don't know. Oh no! Uh, oh my god, I can't. I can't. I can't. I couldn't even. There was no way I could have clicked on that. Is this where the. No. Oh, this is where we got the bloody orb. Oh my god. Oh my god, my god. Well, that sucks. So, anyway, how are you? In early today, though. Yeah, someone said your neck was hurting or something. How are you feeling now? I know all too well how neck pain is. Oh boy, do I know how neck pain is. Alright, let's get delay, just, you know, turn us back around, go back to the beginning. So, we have an orb. We don't want to go down there yet, I don't think. I think we want to go... Middle right? Or this one? Let's try this way. Or does this take me downstairs as well? No, it doesn't. Okay, so this is potentially... Wasn't this the one where we could continue in the same direction? Yes, alright. Um, I'm gonna stick this in the pillar for now. Yeah. Wait, it's a glyph sphere? Oh, okay, so we need to figure out where to use the glyph sphere. Right. Hang on, I want to see actually where this takes us, because again, it's it's a dead end now, which it was anyway, but it had the green arrow that could turn us around, so what happens if we go this way with no green arrow? I mean, surely we have to get turned around, right? Like, what does this do? It just turns us around. You see there's a path there on the left. We have to somehow get our way up there. But I don't know how. Huh. Oh god, this fucking temple. Using an ice pack, damn. It must be bad. Okay, so I think we want to go down this middle path. You notice the uh, the thing goes slower now? I think you normally can't reach this otherwise. No, we've been down here. However, we this is where we got the glyph sphere, right? So I don't think we've put like a regular Bevel sphere in here. Let's try the Bevel sphere, see if it does anything different. Maybe. Oh, I did something. What the hell? What the hell? What did that do? I don't... I don't understand! I don't get it! Uh... It didn't seem to help? Because it didn't change that at all, not like to see. Oh, confusing. You have a prescription, but you don't fill it. That stuff long-term freaks me out. Yes, I... I hear of a lot of Americans getting addicted to prescription painkillers. They're really hard to get here. Uh... Which is probably a good thing. Hmm. What about down on the right here? I don't think we've been this way, have we? Because we have been down here, but we went down here through the other path. Yes, we haven't been down here yet. So there must be something we have to do down here, because I feel like this is the, th the bottom floor, basically. The, the floor above us, I feel like we've done pretty much everything there. There's another sphere. Okay. What about the glyph sphere? Can we put this here? Possibly, but if we can, we don't have the, the hands for it, because again, you can only, you can't like, I can't get the, the glyph sphere out of here, so you know what I mean? Hmm. Well, well, shit. Let's hope that's not where the glyph sphere goes, but it probably is. So now we have three spears at our disposal. Two bevel, one glyph. I sure don't know where the shit to put them. 
Look at that camera angle. <laughs> Look, he's so dead in the eyes. He's like, oh god, this place. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> okay, so that'll take us up. I'm gonna go. I don't know. I think at some point we do want to go back upstairs, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. We need somewhere to put these spheres. Ah. Okay. This is. Where is this? Is this where we got the glyph sphere? No, it's not. This is probably where we want to. Well, no, hang on. Because we can make a bridge with this. Right? This will make a bridge, I think. Yes. And again, that's where we put the destruction sphere. But we don't have it. Now we have to figure out how to get, how to get that, which is always the problem, right? That's always the hard part. And it's always got something to do with the glyph sphere. We know that. We know the glyph sphere is always the key to getting the destruction sphere. Or at least, I believe so. How does one get... Hmm. Maybe now we go downstairs and put the glyph sphere down there? Let's try that. Eventually, I'll just use a guide if we need to, but... You know, I'm, try I'm trying I'm trying things first. So yeah, let's see... Because uh, wasn't this... No, it wasn't empty. It had a bevel spin. Let's see if the glyph does the trick. What do you do? You do nothing. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Okay, glyph sphere. Glyph sphere. Glyph sphere. If I were a glyph sphere, where would I go? You think you put the glyph sphere in the funky symbol spot? Oh, you where the destruction sphere goes? Maybe? I guess it's worth a try, right? And what we've learned from the past two temples is that we. <laughs> his fucking face. <laughs> is that what we want to do is make sure we finish the temple because uh, then it always open it so far has opened up the way to actually get the destruction sphere so maybe we should just focus on that just focus on like finishing and then maybe we'll get what we need I don't know go go oh, son of a bitch son of a bitch no I think <laughs> I was on the wrong one God damn it! <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, that's fine. No, next to the dead end. Dead end? The, the, the dead end? Wait, what dead end? Which one? There's lots of dead ends. I don't know which dead end you're referring. <laughs> okay. Alright, that was a massive detour for no reason. <laughs> the tide is his fucking face. <laughs> He's got one of those faces where he's just like, all right, let's just get through this. We have to do it. If we go to LP FF7, I mean, like, maybe I want to, but at this point, I'm like, oh, maybe I should just wait for the remake. I don't know. Fucking hell. Oh, my God. I think you actually have to stop off in the middle. Otherwise, you can't stop at the one at the end because it goes too fast. Because when we go through the one in the middle, it goes way slower. Oh, my Lord. All right, let's try again. Maybe, maybe we're lucky. Alright, okay, we got lucky that time. The one that turns you back. Yeah, but I can't, right? Alright. Alright. That's a glyph sphere. I don't want that one. The glyph sphere. Let me get a glyph sphere! Because, it, like you say, it just turns me back. What do you, oh, I know what you mean. You mean in the, uh, the thing that was changing that. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, never mind. We got the destruction sphere. Totally all part of the plan, I swear to Christ. So. Where do we put it? Great question. I don't know. Um. Maybe we. Ah! I bet we put it exactly where Eric is suggesting. And he's suggesting where we got the. Glyph sphere, right? Because that was what was putting the arrow on the floor for the the rotatey bit, right? You know the you know the rotatey bit. So I think that's the middle path or one of these middle paths. We yeah, can't remember which one it is though. Uh, is it is it this one? No! <laughs> Fuck you, elevator. Fuck you. All right, hang on. Okay. Guys again. I, wanna, I just I just want to go to the right, man. But not this one, the next one. I think it's this one. Okay, perfect. 
Sometimes the timing just doesn't line up. No, I'm at the wrong one, aren't I? Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Okay. So let's see if this maybe does what we need to do. However, I don't think it will. I think we need to somehow manipulate this path, and then up there is probably where we put the glyphs, uh, the destruction sphere. Nope, I'm totally wrong. This is this is absolutely the correct idea. Yeah, okay. Cool. Fantastico. All right, now we go right over there. Lovely jubbly. So, what I'm gonna do just in case is I'm gonna assume we're gonna need at least two orbs here, maybe even three. So I'm gonna collect one from the end. Uh, over here on the right, because we absolutely do not need it to be there anymore, because we only need that to get to the destruction sphere. So, fucking hell, fucking hell, I pressed the button. Oh my god, you're fired. Jesus fucking Christ. Can you speed this up? Of course you can't. That would just be convenient, wouldn't it? <gasps> okay. Alright, so we're going to grab this in case we need it. But you never know. Never know. I don't want to have to come all the way back here if we do. And again, we clearly don't need this bridge here anymore. I don't think so. The very is destruction sphere. So, put it in there. How do we leave the temple? That's that's my question now. As you know, I guess the back uh, above above us maybe. Man, if you think this is me to it, <laughs> this is me having fun. It's just it, you know, it is it is frustrating though. It is is fun frustration. So we are going, it's the second path, yes, yes. What was downstairs? What the fuck was down there? What was down there? Oh, Josh. I still remember. Yeah. Okay, we made it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we got two, sp we, we might need three again. Remember, you can hold one in your hand, but uh, you know, we might, we might need none. I don't know. We might just have needed the destruction sphere there. But just in case, you know, I figured, well, it doesn't need to be at the end anymore, so we'll grab it. Better to be safe than sorry. Alright, take me home, country road. Come on! Come on! Just give me the chest up here and then let me escape this hellhole, that's all I ask. Where's my chest? See my chest, see my chest. Yeah, we did it, everyone. We fucking did it. What the hell? What the? That was a reset. Ah, oh, right, right. Wait, 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 wait. We totally do need one. Thank God I did that. We got to put one here to... Wait, what does this do? Let's me get to another chest. There are two chests. Oh, okay, dokie. Sure. You've missed a lot of fireways then you have. What up, Cod? I'm doing okay. How are you? Are you going to play Kingdom Hearts 3? Hell yes. I already paid for it. It was fucking expensive. Let me tell you. This shit ain't cheap. Night Lance. I know who that's for. That's for Kamari Run. So the Runs to try. Can I go on the menu, please? Can I equip my Lance? Can I, can I equip my Lance, please? Can I, can I, can I equip my Lance? All right, thank you. Equip. Mari. What was it called again? <laughs> Got the name. Oh, Night Lance. 3, 5, 10. Ooh. Ooh. It doesn't have piercing, though. That's disappointing. So it's going to be good unless we need piercing. And then it's going to be shite. Uh, what's over here? Wait, what is over here? Oh, we're done. Okay, we did it. Inside, maybe? Easy mode, man. Then what are we standing here for? That was the hardest one by far. <laughs> hey, you, you got it, man. You got it. Keep going. Hey! You can stuff your taboos! I'm thinking about things that are taboo now. Sorry, my, my brain got a little distracted. I was like, hmm, what's taboo? Oh yeah, that's hot. And you'll never know what I was thinking of. Uh, it finally be a whole night, that was painful. Nice, good job, man. Have you done the uh, the Gods and Glory DLC and all that stuff? Because that is, uh, that's tough. That's, that makes the regular game look like a walk in the park on a summer's day. Look who it is. It's the kid. Note the symbol on the back of the kid's shirt. What's that? A faith. They join with the summoner, and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. Note the symbol on the back of the kid's shirt. You used Spear of Justice the other day. Hey man! 
I'm flattered when people steal my shit. Be my guest. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. And you don't, you don't watch my streams enough. I was actually, I was actually gonna message you yesterday and be like, "Yo, where are you? Are you okay? I haven't seen you in forever." Uh, you've been replaying Dark Souls Three, and you're extremely rusty. I feel that way playing RuneScape. I'm playing RuneScape Classic, or sorry, old school, not classic. Classic is different. Uh, I'm playing old school RuneScape. Uh, which is like where everyone PvPs. People do not PvP on RuneScape 3. And let me fucking tell you, I used to be pretty good at the PvP. I wasn't like a god or anything, but I was pretty good. I am dreadful now. I think I've died about six times in a row and not killed anyone. Now, I've come close several times. The main problem, though, I think, is that everyone I'm fighting has, you know, vengeance, which is like essentially kind of like recoil. Like, I hit them, I get hit back damage. I don't have the magic level for that right now. And they're also all, they've all got like really, you know, expensive spec weapons. So they're all like specking the shit out of me doing all this damage with their, you know, overpriced weapons that I can't afford right now because I just came back to the game. And uh, they've also got vengeance. So if I hit them, I get recalled a bunch of damage. And then when they hit me, they spec the crap out of me. So I'm like, mm, I might be a little bit, I am also terrible though, that's the thing. So it's like really stacked against me. I'm terrible and I'm under-equipped. Uh, you've been lurking a bit. I see. I was worried about you. I was like, does she hate me? She did. Yeah, fly into her. That's weird. That's just, that's not okay. Yuna. That's the second time she's been violated today. Let me. You're Remember when the the last time? Actually, no. Wait, it was probably in it was probably in eight. But doesn't it remind you of Cloud carrying Eris after Eris is dead, and then he puts There's her in the, the water, of them. and then the plinky plonky you music plays, to stand trial. and the bitch sinks because she wasn't a witch. I expect it will be a fair trial. <laughs> of course it will. No, I've played this game before a few times. I haven't played it in probably about. Well, not quite 10 years, but close to it. It's been, it's been a while. Hey, we got Bahama. Look at the picture of Bahama. Doesn't it look... Rah, it looks it's scary. Bahama looks weird in this game. Uh, like... Like a Pokemon, honestly. Like, very Pokemon-y. Let's drag any more Pokemon-y. Oh my god, that voice. Is now in session. The sacred offices of this court seek nothing but absolute truth. That moustache. More shocking than his voice. To those on trial, believe in Yevon and speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Summoner Yuna. You have sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Now this is not because I'm a pervert. Though yes. I am. Then consider... You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Do Lulu's boobs look like they've grown? Inspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. I was just me, were they fucking massive just then? These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Maybe it was the camera angle, but I was like, holy crap! I knew they were big, but Tell goddamn. This court, what possessed you to participate in such violence? I am gonna play Resident Evil 2 Remaster, yes? Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. You tell him. He killed his father Jiskel with his own hands. What is this? What is this, bollocks? Hmm? Haven't you heard? I fucked him up, I did. Not only that, Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. Like, were they always that big? Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. The dress. I mean, she's been wearing the dress send the whole game, though. That's the, the thing. Unsent to where they belong. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Again, I want to play Final Fantasy VII, um, but Send the dead. I might wait for the remake, but who knows when that'll come out, right? Uh, 
You would have to send me to Mika's dead. What? Micah. Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. Yes, they're all corrupt, basically. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord, like my father before me. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... Are you telling me that too is futile? <sighs> Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? <laughs> How mouth did not move at all, just then? Not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. This is very law important, that's why I'm shutting up. Their rebirth cannot be stopped. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. I don't like her marriage to Seymour. Never or just for show. But never ending. Hmm. Indeed, that is the essence of heaven. Lord Micah. Heaven is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity, Summoner. No. That can't be right. Those who question these truths, they are traitors. Coming from a dead guy? Come on now. Lord Micah! Get back in your coffin, old man. I don't take shit from dead people. Though I do get arrested by them, apparently. Get me out of here! I want out now! Alright, calm you down, son. Jesus. You waste your breath. Look at the rain on the floor. Man, I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. She'll make it? What, so she can die? <sighs> Why is it... Everything in Spira seems to revolve around people... Dying. <laughs> God does, doesn't it? <laughs> the spiral of death. Yeah. Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn. Hey, Chad. And then... Only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. Well, that's uplifting. Issa, thank you so much. Hey, 12 months in a row, you're now a golden member of the Peachwater Party Pals. How do you feel? It has been an entire year. You have a golden Peachwater Bowl next to your name. Are you excited? You should be. You're in a very elite club of the golden members of the Peachwater Party Pals. Okay? Like, think about it. The Peachwater Party Pals. Pals. That's an elite club. Think about it. Who doesn't want to be in the Peachwater Party Pals? Goons. That's all. Are you a goon? No. That's why you've been here for 12 months. Thank you, Issa. I appreciate it. Very kind of you. So yes, you may notice uh, death. Death is... Uh, it's it's about a cycle because it's a Japanese game. Just like 
like Ganon and Link keep coming back because it's the eternal battle of light versus dark, just like uh, Dark Souls is about the flame either being rekindled and then not being kindled and then the age of dark followed by the age of light because it's all about light and death and cycles and then it's about Kingdom Hearts as well which is also because Kingdom Hearts represents light and then you've got you know uh, the Heartless and shit which represents dark because it's also a battle of life versus dark because Japanese games are all the same but aren't they great? I mean, I could abbreviate to the PPP. P, P, each no PW. Come out. PP. Your sentence has been decided. Sentence. The Don't poor mean execution. Welcome to the. <laughs> really now, what person would execute a dear friend? You would. I trust you about as much as I trust the eunuch whose name I forgot again from Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. What's his name again? Z Z Z Zarish? Z something like that, right? Why can't I remember that? Fuck it. I always forget his name. I remember Looks everyone like else's. You're next. Yeah, next for what? I don't know. Diving in the water, probably? <laughs> <laughs> Get going. Mm. Where's everybody else? Floating down there somewhere, maybe. Maybe. Okay, you're in the mood to play this game again. Good, it's a great game. You should play it. 10 out of 10. And 9.5 out of 10. I'm trying to think of what game I would give a 10 out of 10. Ooh, you made it. Maybe Red Dead 1. High five. We need to play Red Dead 2. What's our sentence? I've been hearing things about Red Dead 2, about like how the story gets better. Down here. Like a lot more interesting. Ugh. I'm like, ooh, well, that makes me want to kill someone. Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Look, I spent half this game trying to save Let's this bitch. The exit. If there is an exit. You may or may not notice that we are playing the only characters currently that can fight underwater, and we're in the water. How fares the Ranso Maester? It seems my father's murder troubles him. Evil music. <laughs> Paris, there you go. Ever the Ranso. Hard headed, hardly useful. However, and slow and blitzball. The summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Braska. I married that bitch, or I tried. She may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. Oh yeah, I still have the music remixed. She cannot be allowed to live. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. Let it go. Let it no go. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. The Via Purifico. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. Sounds Spanish. Sir, leave that to me. Oh. First your father, now your bride. Doesn't it just mean the purification? Allow me to do this. No, Via doesn't mean the. She is my bride. Wait, I will. That would be to... L. You do not trust me. Would you trust a man who murdered his father? Very well. As you wish. He's like, you know what? Good point. I didn't kill my old man. I wouldn't trust Idiot. me either. Forgive me. We play as you now? Oh god, I don't remember this part at all. To the condemned! Stone panels are scattered throughout the Via Purifico. Step on one to transport yourself to the next panel in the indicated direction. Nothing will happen. There is no panel. I don't remember this at all! Music sounds pretty good. This is the non remix music. Wait, that's not how you do it. Better. Okay. Now the music's making. I, I remember the music. I don't remember this part though. Odd. Let's use our one level up. Yeah, where are we going? You going this way? Yeah. Here with that sweet magic. Uh, so, what summons do I have? I have, let's see if I can remember off by heart and in the specific order. We got Balfour, Ifrit, then it was Ixion, then Shiva, and now Bahamut. 
Let's see if I am correct. Bam, I am good. Yeah. Good age, Bahamut. Uh, what's his overdrive? Mega Flare. Makes sense. He always hurts Mega Flare. He's got Fire Thunder, Water Blizzard, Fire or Thunder, or Water R, Blizzard R, Blizzard R, rather, and he's got the Uggers as well. So he's got the, the level 3 versions. Yo, uh, how do we do this again? Can't you teach... Yeah, oh, the abilities. There we go. What can we teach you? I can teach him Dark Attack. Hmm, you can teach him Dark Attack as well. And full life, blah, blah, blah. Shell. Shell's probably good. What do we need for Shell? Let's have a look. Lunar Curtains. Okay, so we can teach Shell to two of our summons. I think actually I will teach him Shell. Because if he ends up in a fight with a mage, he can, uh, he can make himself uh, a lot more survivable. Alright, I don't think Bahamut can heal himself, right? Because we don't have what we need. We need a lot more potions, basically, to make cures. Obviously, he's not elemental. Well, I guess it's not that obvious, but yeah, he's non-elemental. Even though his, uh, his, his move is called something Flare. It's... Woo! It's not... It's not fire. So, uh, yeah. Basically, he, uh... He can't heal himself by casting magic on himself. Unless it's, uh, cure or something. Yeah, it seems quiet today. Yeah, it usually is. Uh, what's something? Uh, I just got a little further in my recent attempt, but I don't remember any of this. Yeah, I don't remember this either. I don't remember this either. Chat are usually quiet when I'm playing most games. That's... That's the key thing you have to know about chat, but it's okay because I'm used to talking. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm used to talking to myself. Yeah, we kind of have to summon here for most battles because she's gonna be. But yeah, like she doesn't even have any black magic, so. Ah, yeah, need a summon. Uh, anyway, I'm used to talking to myself, so. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can make a conversation with myself and hold it. So anyway, if you notice the uh, the wheel thingy on the back of Bahamut, it's the same as the symbol that was on the little kid's jacket. Because I believe the little kid is basically supposed to be like, you know, Bahamut. That's what I understanding, and I may be entirely wrong about this. And they kind of allude to this oh a little my. bit. Oh my! You're a big colorful fella, aren't you? Uh, they kind of allude to this a little bit. That, um... It seems like people turn into Aeons. So Bahama was a kid, I think, is where they're going with that. I think. I don't be quite sure, but yeah. It, it's something like that. I, I, I don't want to talk too much more about it in case uh, in case to give some uh, plot relevant things away. But yeah, that's, that's basically my understanding. All right, let's go back this way. Let's turn off battles whilst we're running around since we've already been through this section. Yeah, I'll leave the battles on when we're going through a new part, but if I'm just backtracking, then effort. Because, uh, yeah, suddenly I do, I do remember this part now. Oh, I remember this part. A lot of, lot of trekking around. Fishman! Can't you learn something from Fishman? Pretty sure you can lance it, that dude. Alright, Salmon! And we're just gonna keep doing the same. Just gonna impulse him, and it, it should basically take them all out. Yo, if I died and got to be a giant dragon, I would not mind. I mean... If you have to die, right? There are worse things to turn to than a giant dragon. I'd rather not die, though. But, uh... You just missed Kamari lol blind. Wait, Kamari was chilling there? No. Oh. I see how it is. And in my defense, Kamari is kind of bluish-gray. Everything around this area is kind of bluish-gray, so... 1337. Leet. Um, yeah, anyway. He's kind of bluish gray, so in my defense, he probably matches in quite a bit. Anyway, let's go back to where we were then. If if we did indeed miss Kamari Ronso of the Ronso tribe, where the hell was he? Oh, he's, he's right up there. You know, to be honest, I didn't even look in that direction. My my eyes did not even focus in that direction. That's why I didn't notice him. Hello, Kamari. Yuna, sorry we left you alone. No. I forgive them. Okay. No, it's okay. There's also a chest here. Yoink! Gimme, gimme! A mega potion, sweet. All right, so they do something. We've established that. Uh, I do want to get. I do want to check over here first, though. Like we were trying to, and then Kamari rudely interrupted. All right, anyway, let me shit back off. Hello, is anyone else chilling around here, or is it just Kamari? What the hell is that? I mean, it's a glyph, but like, what up with the glyph? What do you do? 
No clue. Absolutely none. None at all. Oh look, conveniently a dude shows up the Kamari can take out. Oh, too slow, Kamari. Too slow. Here it is now. Jump, I might do my bidding. Now remember the old Final Fantasy games where every summon animation was full length. Doesn't it make you appreciate the abbreviated ones Go, in this? Fight on. Yeah, alright, calm down. Yes, yes it does. I remember summoning Knights of the Round in Final Fantasy VII, you can go, like, make a pizza and, you know, I'd say get a cup of tea, but I don't, I don't drink tea. If I did drink tea, you could go make a cup of tea, though. Or a coffee, or whatever the hell you drink. You could literally leave and come back a couple of minutes later. I'm pretty sure it was, like, three and a half minutes or something per summon. Now, fortunately, you didn't need that many Knights of the Round summons to kill a boss. I think even Emerald Weapon is, like, one of the, Emerald or Ruby is one of the hardest ones, and, oh, hey, it's Lulu. And I, I'm trying to get the chest pitch. I think I took like it's okay. three or something. I know. So basically, I t uh, Emerald, uh, the one under the water. I took that fuck around in like three summons or maybe two or something. It was pretty brutal. But uh, that's why they make you go through a lot of shit before you get Knights of the Round. So what is this that we don't know? Oh, the touching the glyphs probably powers us up somehow. Odd. Very, very odd. Alright, you can skip a turn now. We'll actually let these fight. Don't confuse me. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, again, we want to try and lance at the fishmen. God damn you! Fine, I'll just use the bath like then, you useless ass. Lulu, can you have a turn, please? Thank you. Um, what are you weak against? Fire. No specific reason for that. It's just a flying eyeball, but sure, whatever. Boop. 700. 700? God, you're awful. Just dreadful. Maybe Jason, now I want tea. Really never been into tea. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen the fuss with tea. I'm like, eh, it's okay. Probably just rather have water, though. Hey, chair. Hey, chair. Sorry, hang on. That was very loud, the, the whole impulse thing. Roar, I'm a dragon, and I'm crossing my arms, because I've got chewed, which means attitude. Uh, Deathwish, thank you so much for the subscription. Very kind of you, sir. I'm not caught up yet, but I figured I might as well still buy a sub. Very kind. Thank you, Deathwish. Thank you. I will try and get the uh, the other parts up on YouTube a bit quicker. My apologies, sir. I got kind of uh, <laughs> a little distracted there for a few days. A little distracted. Have you actually lost your mind? No. Why? What happened? What happened? What did I do? Wait a minute. Let's go left. Wait. What was it? What was that? All right. We can answer the fish man. I think. There was something in the middle of the room there. It was all like red or something? What the hell was that? Oh, maybe... Maybe the elevator thing's powered up now? Anyway. Lance it. Can I get something from you? No, I cannot. Damn it. It's probably Aqua Breath. Probably Aqua Breath, but we already have that. Hmm. Are you going to be weak? Yes, you are! Pokemon logic! Eh. Take that, you little bitch. Summon. Sure. We'll summon... With someone bottom up. We're gonna keep the overdrive for now. We're all good, just been working a lot, so I haven't had too much time to watch. It's fair enough. Anyway, thank you again. Very kind. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Let's try Blizzard. Who do I attack with that? Oh, okay, I did attack it. Ooh, it looks so cute. It looks so cute. Here, I'm gonna thwack the hell out of you. Bitch nipple. Yeah, Spahman's very strong. Rawr. I'm trying to think how many more summons there are in the game. Honestly, I don't think there's that many. There's two that spring... What is this? Is there another person here? Oran, where did you come from? Where am I? There must be an exit somewhere. I'm we lost search. as hell. Yeah, I could... I could. You're right. I probably should just summon the other ones to try and get their overdrives up. That's that's actually a good, a good idea. That's a good shout, as they say. Uh, just something about you today it makes you seem like you're not batting on a full wicket. It's a cricket reference, isn't it? Ah, uh, cricket. The most boring of sports. Ambushed! Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Smack that bitch. She's really evasive though, yep. Yep. Yep, bar. Uh, you kill him. Excuse me? Oh, you don't have piercing now. God damn it. You deserve that. That's for not having piercing. 
And that's for hitting Kamari. That's pretty good. Pretty good. We need Walker, man. Everyone else hits crap. And can't hit this thing. You gotta sneeze. Don't do it. Don't do it. Alright, who do we want to power up then? I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess, uh, Shiva? Why not? Is cricket more boring than baseball? Um. Hmm. Please help us. I've never really watched baseball. So what I will say is I think football, you know, English football, not American football, is boring as shit. And it's because the pitch is too big. And it's too long. It's like, what, two halves of 45 minutes? That's an hour and a motherfucking half. Wait, is that right? Is that an hour and a half? Yeah, it's an hour and a half. That's too long. But an hour and a half is too long for a, a match. So you got an hour and a half of watching people just pass a ball up and down a pitch because they can't get close to the fucking goal. And that's why every match ends in like, you know, 1-0 or 1-1 or something. You're like, Jesus. This just is too big. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's Yojimbo as well. I don't really want to say the names of the other ones for spoilers. But yeah, Yojimbo is one I forgot. So there's at least three more summons. However, correct me if I'm wrong. But certainly Yojimbo and can't remember. So the most powerful summon, or at least what I think is, it's it's a group of three. Wink, wink. Uh, that one. I'm fairly certain you don't do a trial for that exactly, or at least it's not like a traditional cloister of trials. Yes, those are the other two I'm thinking of. Um, so I don't think any of the remaining. Three, Yojimbo included, have a trial associated with them exactly. You certainly have to fight one of them. Maybe two. And the other one we've kind of alluded to that you get uh, by getting all of the the Destruction Sphere loot in the temples. So I, I don't know if we have any more trials left is, is basically what I'm getting at. I think we might be done with all the Cloister of Trials. I think, because I don't remember any other ones. Like I say, those three... I remember those three, I don't think there's any other ones. So, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna... Hmm, what am I gonna... Apparently you can't skip a turn on a summon. Oh, yes you can, you can boost. I forgot about that. Bollocks. Bollocks. You don't think you got the other ones? You remember that one? Hmm. Hmm. I like the lore behind that one. It's very cool. Again, I'm not saying it out loud. I guess specifically because you know people in the people in the lunchroom can see the chat. But uh, you know, to not spoil it for those of you on YouTube. But yes, I do remember. In a minute, I'm just gonna pull off the battles and just run around, pick up the shit. Yes, you do. Yeah, you do have to pay him. Um, which one's the battle one? This one. All right, let's go search around. Whoa, camera, stop it. Okay, camera. Camera, stop rotating me around. That's very Cam camera. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, I'm losing my mind here. Hang on. Battle's off. Go this way. Oh, man, that was really confusing the way the camera flipped around there. Holy shit. All right, anyway. Let's see if we can find anything that we've missed. All right, we got that. Can we do anything there? No. Probably more glyphs we've got to touch. We went that way. This way. Can we do anything with this glyphy thing here? Maybe. Maybe. No. Hmm. Oh, this one's powered up, though. This one is definitely working. I can see it. It is pointing to the left. We will touch it. Touch it. You would recommend PC. There's one close to trial left. There is? Hmm. Okay. Wait, where the hell are we now? Wait. Wait. Have we been here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we are. <laughs> I don't know where we are. Um, okay, we went in there, we touched that. Did we go this way? I think so. What about up here? I don't think we went this way. I don't think we went left. Oh my god, the camera. Okay, yeah, that was the blocked door. Hmm. Most confusing. That is also a dead end. What about over here and on the right? Oh my god, turn, turn around. It just loops back around there. Okay. Well, clearly we haven't been that way, where all the glowing lights are. Spoilers. 
Just trying to make sure we, we've done everything else. I think we have. Yes, anyway, I am playing on PC. Uh, would it be bad to pick this up on PS4 or wait until it comes out on Switch in April? Um, I mean, it, it's really up to you, like, the, the Switch version is basically going to be exactly the same, except that you can play it portably, so Yuna, it really depends so it if is you. portable is important to you. Why are you here? We rode the airship to the Calm Lands, then came to Bevel. Ah, tangled. Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. <sighs> you yeah, don't imagine us. it being very demanding. The temple's orders are law. On PC. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood, you're a traitor. His guardians, I don't see them. Maroda and Passe are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. Vaguely remember this. So he tries to fuck us up because we're, you know, a traitor. His guardians are gone, which if you remember, they're his brothers. I don't want to say anything more than that. Uh, just, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll just wait until after the fight, and then Your we'll see what happens. Against my... Why have you got an overdrive? It's fucking cheating! If only I could summon an Aeon with an overdrive already- Oh, wait! I prepared this specifically for you, bitch! Even though I forgot that it was him we were fighting, but I knew there was a fight in here somewhere. What up? My name is Bahama. I'm very colorful. I look like, uh... look like a phoenix. Mega Flare! Yeah, look at that backflip. It's like a bloody cannon. Yeah, suck on that. Don't know if we're gonna one-shot him with this, but possibly. I think... Yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter right now, because we can't actually do that much damage, but I think Bahamut has, um... Is Hellfire firing the middle? Because we could have totally just summoned Ifrit and just tanked that, couldn't we? But anyway, um... What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I think Bahamut has the damage breaker, so he can do over 9999, I think. I think he's the only summon at the moment that can. I think you have to unlock it on the other ones or something, maybe? I don't recall. Ow. Did quite a bit of damage. Ah, you missed. You little bitch. Uh, we know Blizz is going to be good against him, so let's Blizzard got him. Blizzard got him. Actually, does he even have weaknesses? Because obviously he absorb. Well, never mind. Obviously he's going to absorb fire. We know that. But I don't know if he's actually weak against ice, like a normal fire enemy, enemy would be. But it did 3k damage and killed him, so... Seemed to be fine. Oh yeah, you're right, of course. We couldn't summon the same Aeon as him. Yeah, that makes sense. Is he, is he somebody Bahama? That's Bahama, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh wait, no, that's Valifor. Of course, yeah, we have Bahama. He wouldn't be able to do it. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oh wait, no, we don't have Bahama on the field, so he could have done that, and then we wouldn't be able to use Bahama. Right. So we should probably use Bahama as much as we can, because obviously, eventually, he's going to whip out Bahama. At least it seems seems likely. And then we can't use him in turn. Oh my, I'm good, Black Heart. How are you? I uh, wish you could catch more of your streams. I wish you could as well, but uh, I appreciate your support nonetheless. How was life? Yeah, we're half dead. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Get thunder good. I know he's not weak to electricity, but you know, Pokemon logic makes me... Uh, that's why I picked it. It doesn't do any extra damage, but damn it, it doesn't hurt. Ow. Ow. I'm going to try and save this... Can we... Hang on a minute. I have shell. Probably not worth it. I think it's mostly just going to physically attack us. Hmm. What about water gun? What do you What do you do? Anyway, um, I'm going to try and save the overdrive for a different Aeon because it's Valifor, right? It's pretty weak. It's probably not going to have that much health. And as you can see, it's not exactly hitting us very hard. So if we can take this dude out with regular attacks and then just thwack the living shit out of it, or thwack the living shit out of another one with our overdrive, you know free kill basically pretty much however we don't want this thing to 
use its overdrive on us is the problem, and it's getting dangerously close to being able to do that. And we're out of mana. Wait a little shit. This thing will probably evade my physical attacks. I'm going to use this, because I don't think this can miss. Because aliens are quite evasive. Evade that, bitch. That was actually pretty good damage. Please be dead. Damn it. Okay, that's hope he doesn't quite kill me, but it mm, probably will. Obviously not going to be as strong as Ifrit, but... Uh, ne never mind. That was actually fucking dreadful. Wow. You did 350 damage with your overdrive? No wonder Valifor sucks. Hey! Please die now. Wait, I did way less. Was it boosting before? Nah, either way, we beat it. And then we're gonna overdrive the next one. Three kills all around. This is basically a Pokemon battle when you think about it. Just like both these people standing here, not physically interacting with each other at all, just letting all their minions do the. Oh god. Just letting all their minions do the bidding. Yep, yeah, here comes Bell, man. Guess we're gonna have to save that overdrive for a different one. Okay, this is this is gonna be the hardest one. Hmm. It's not elemental. It doesn't really matter what we summon, so we should probably just use our best. I cannot our best summon. let you pass. This might be the last one he has, I don't honestly know. Uh he or he may also have Ixion and Shiva. Probably does. I think Ixion is gonna be. Uh, I'm going to try Ixion. I don't know why. Some cool-ass Pokemon, all right. That was pretty cool if you get extra overdrive. Yeah, it definitely makes them a lot better. I think I just dislike the way the way Ixion looks quite a lot. Uh, no shock. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I, I'm the Thunder one. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> There's a reason my brain was like, Ha! I'm fighting the Electric Unicorn. Let me just use no shock. No, that's, 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 that's a lot of damage, actually. Countdown. Yeah, he has a countdown on his overdrive because he's a bloody cheater. Well, that's annoying. Um, it's very, very likely just to one-shot me. You kind of have to throw a lot of shit at Bahma and hope that it sticks. But again, it doesn't have staggering amounts of HP, so... You know, if we don't kill it with Ixion, we should be able to kill it with the next one. Relatively easily. We'll, we're going to try physical attacks just because I think they're quicker. Oh, well, shit. Never mind then. Yeah. Yeah, they're, okay, about the same. About the same damage. I think we'll survive this. Judging by Valifor doing 355 damage, he doesn't seem that strong. But then again, maybe, he's, maybe his bottom will just blow my head off. I think it'll do most of my damage. I think it'll probably do like a thousand and a half or so. Maybe like 1800. Okay, I, I was close. Uh, boy, I was right. We did survive. Or bit only just. Definitely want to pop this. Actually, do we? Because can it even do anything? Or will it just have a countdown again? I think... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, it's low on health. That's why it's uh, all staggered like that. Yeah. We have a long cooldown on our overdrive, so I really shouldn't have used that then. I should have hit it a couple of times, first of all. However... Mm, I think he might just about get another one off. I think he's just about going to get another one off. Well, well, shit. Now we can heal ourselves, but I really don't think this is going to do enough. I probably should have healed twice. Oh my god, I no shocked myself. <laughs> what an idiot. Alright, well, I uh, kind of fucked that one up. <laughs> Well, that's why, you know, it doesn't matter. We, we lost Ixion. It's not the end of the world. So, Ixion is Thunder Elemental, so I can heal myself by casting Thunder Spells on myself. However, I foolishly casted No Shock on myself, which makes you immune to a Thunder Spell for one turn. Obviously, Bahamut wasn't using Thunder on me, so the, the only turn that used Thunder was me on myself, so all I did was uh, tank it with a No Shock, like an idiot. So I didn't heal myself. It just did nothing. What you get for uh, accidentally casting that yourself, I guess. Well, it wasn't really an accident. Again, my brain derped for a moment. I was like, oh, I'm fine, Ixion, even though I just saw the, the Bahama animate look. 
I got no excuses. My brain died for a moment, alright? It happens. Again, I probably shouldn't be using the special attacks. I should go for physical attacks. I think she was quite quick. Bam! Get freaking roundhouse kicked, son. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Do it again, no. Uh, let's see if he does indeed have Shiva and Ixion. If he does, easy win, alright? No, we won. Get fucked. So we had an overdrive on bottom up. Didn't even need it. Stay away. Didn't even summon Ifra or Valifor. Yuna, let's go. I'm the better summoner, bitch. There's a way to the surface up ahead. I still had over half my Pokemon. Thanks, Asaru, or whatever your name is. Your pilgrimage is over. And he chops his head off. And then, and he chops his head. All right. I'm just going to assume Auron chopped his head off. And then we're never going to see Asaru again. I actually can't remember if you do see him again. Okay, you've point. You play Blitzball now? You still can't. Man, we have not been able to play Blitzball for quite a while because of the story. Well, that was a laugh. So, yeah. I don't know what happened with his brothers. I think I always just assumed that he killed them. Like, <laughs> but I don't know why I would assume that. Uh, because there was nothing there really to suggest that he did. I mean, they, they, you know, they directly say, wait a minute, where are your guardians? Maybe they died, and maybe he's like, I don't know. I really doubt he killed them, though. But I like to believe that he just went nuts and killed them. And then that's why he attacked us. And that then Auron killed him. Uh, but none of that happened. I, at least I don't think so. Uh, chest opposite the save one. There is. It's now bed chest. Excuse me? It's a shop? Oh, alright. I mean, fair enough. Uh, how much does it cost to buy a whole bunch of these? A fucking shitload. Because I want to be able to, like, give... Um, what's his face? I want to be able to give Bahma Cure. Or at least Cura, probably, because Cure's a bit shit. When the X potions for that. Oh, okay. Well, we have to farm up X potions at some point. I don't know how many we need. It just tells me how many I have, not how many we need. Which is kind of really annoying. It could be 99, to be honest. I don't really know. I don't, uh, don't really know. Throwing the only swimmers into the water to kill them is a really wise plan. I know. This is what I said earlier. The only three people that can swim and fight out the water. <laughs> They're the ones you chuck in. <laughs> uh. And this is why the world is doomed and sin has come along to punish people. He's punishing their stupidity. Alright, we've been going for an hour and 45 minutes. Everyone is going to sleep in my house, unfortunately, which means I need to keep the noise down. However, I don't want to end it yet. So, we're going to keep going, but i got to, to keep the noise down. So we have to talk like a pedophile for the rest of the street. Oh my god, leave me alone. It's that thing that was a boss. It's not a boss now. Hmm. Can you even... I guess you can slice and dice underwater. Just gonna look. Oh god, we have a water sword. Son of a bitch. Okay. I think these will normally absorb attacks from my sword, but I think overdrives are non elemental, unless it's, you know, like Lulu's or something. I, I don't know exactly. Uh, yes. They. He absorbs water, he's immune to it. Yes. Okay, so we, because it was an overdrive, it didn't, didn't count the element. Which is for the best. They're great at holding their breath. They really are, yeah. Let's try and get attack reels, even though we kind of don't need it, you know, none of these enemies are incredibly powerful. Finally! Jesus! What we do anyway? I think this is his best overdrive. We got kind of lucky that we won it so quick during Bloodfall. Yeah, get overkilled, son. Disgusting creature. Goddamn weird sea creatures. Ugh. Again, I, like... Swimming like this in video games doesn't bother me at all because I can see the bottom, right? It's really when I can't see the sea, like the, the seabed, that I start to freak out because I'm like, what's down there? How deep is it? Something could drag me under. Even though you're already under the water, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these things. Where have I seen these before? Watch out for Maelstrom. Maelstrom. Oh, yeah, we need to change Titus's sword. What's that weird thing in the middle? Flag Flagius? Sonic's waves as his third pulse. Hmm, okay, again, terrifying sea creatures of death. This, 
Those things look a bit like the, uh, the Reaper Leviathan in uh, Subnautica. Okay, you must change your weapon. This is useless. It's annoying because, again, it's our strongest weapon, but... Not when they absorb it. Uh, counterattack, I suppose? Yeah, sure. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Cure takes 30 potions. Or 30 X potions. Hmm. That is an awful lot. That's an awful lot. Uh, again, I think we can farm them fairly reliably later. Not right now. Uh, I'm trying to decide... It. Yeah, sure, we'll use Dark Attack. Use Dark Attack on the fish. Hey! Look like Bone Sharks. A bit, yeah. A bit. Play attack. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try Slow Gun. See if that works. They're probably all bloody immune. They are not. Hey, that's convenient. Dude, that thing is so creepy. Oh, so... Ow. It's so freaking creepy. <laughs> Get car attack, son. Uh, what do we have that we can throw these dudes? Another potion, electro marble, lightning damage. I'm going to keep those really, at least for now. We don't have much that we can chuck. We can use a bomb core, but I mean, fire damage on a water dude? Smoke bomb's all right. Yeah, we'll do that. And Riku's got really crap physical damage right now, so she's borderline useless in combat unless she's chucking bombs. Hey, we did blind them both, though. That is pretty sweet. Riku, stop being so quick. That's the thing is, oh, she's so fast. She gets so many turns, but every time you get a turn with her, you're like, well, yes, I'll steal. Like, what else can I do? I can't remember if these things are armored. They look like they would be, but they don't... I honestly can't tell. It doesn't sound like they're armored when I hit them. Like, that sounded fine, yeah? It didn't make, like, a weird thud sound. I tried playing some Nordic VR once, it didn't work properly. That seems absolutely terrifying. <gasps> There's another save point. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> Look how slow Titus swims. Let me think about it. He's so slow compared to during Blitzball. And like all the cutscenes where you see him playing Blitz... Get, get fucked up, sir. When you see him playing Blitzball, he's going at the speed of, speed of freaking light. And yet, in the game, he's so casual about it. He's like... <laughs> you want to play it VR, it would you want to play VR, it would be so freaky and great. Dude, I honestly think it would kill me. I legitimately think it would give me a heart attack. Like, I had a mild panic attack just playing regular stuff. <laughs> Dude, this is scary to me. Big open hole of death. Don't like that. Try not to think about it. It even freaks me out a little bit to watch Subnautica. Again, like, specifically when I can't see the bottom of the water. Or when I hear that fucking Reaper Leviathan. Oh, hey, look, it's a ghost version of the thing we killed earlier. Which I think means you can insta-kill this with, uh, like a Phoenix Down. Every Atlanta. Okay, well, it doesn't... Sp Why is it blind? What the hell? It's already blinded. That's weird. Uh, it doesn't... Open lock. It doesn't specifically say that it's dead. But let's try it anyway, just in case. Very interesting. So it is dead, because it did a bunch of damage, but you notice it said it was immune. So it's immune to death. In other words, it's immune to me insta-killing it with the Phoenix Down. However, I think a Phoenix Down does half of its HP. So don't tell me it's done, please. Thank you. So, basically, I think it's got about 16,000 HP, because we did, like, what, 8,000-something. Which means... Walker might kill it. And even if he doesn't, we can probably just pop another Phoenix down. So, easy as boss of my life, basically. Oh, yeah, he's dead as hell. If I'm right. Yep. There you go. Suck on that, you ghost prick. That's for coming back a second time. Yeah, that's a, that's a trick in a bunch of Final Fantasy games. There's, there, you know, if you fight, like, an undead enemy, like, um... I'm trying to think of a good example. There's a boss on, like, a train that's, like, a giant zombie in 8. Like, pretty near the beginning. Pretty sure you can just Phoenix down that dude and he just dies straight away. Same thing with, like, you know, like, a life spell or whatever. Life, full life. They'll kill him as well. Or, like, a cure spell would just do damage. So, there you go. Uh, now you know. Uh, who needs healing? Kind of Titus. Kind of, kind of you. 
Never knew that was undead. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it should be, does it? Because it's it it says Atlanta. It just looks like it's a water version, but no. I'm guessing this is counter attack as well because it's called rematch. That sounds like a counter attack ball, right? Evade encounter. Oh, evade encounter. Lovely. Um, yeah. Just for some reason, I remember it being dead. Also, the fact that it's. I mean, to be fair, they do recolor the same enemies in this game quite a lot. But yeah, I was like, hmm, pretty sure that's the dead one. Oh, hey, another chest. Almost missed that. Gimme, gimme. Joink. Avenger. That also sounds like it's going to be a counter attack weapon. And of course, it's not for use. I think. Oh, it is for him. He already has one. Wait. Wait. That's pointless. I guess we can sell it. I guess we can sell it. Don't like giant open hole. Okay, we can't go down the giant open hole. Probably for the best. Probably, uh, probably for the best. We still get battles here? I don't think we do, because there's, like, no battle music or anything. This is weird. Uh, I'm guessing we go up there? I don't know. What the hell is that? What is that? Where are we going? Have a look up. Oh, that's just the top of the gate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, where do you want me to go? Yeah, the thing is as well, is when this game came out, I had one of those, because you know, back in the day, before the internet was, this, this is like, when the internet was just sort of starting to become popular, I guess, I had uh, like a guide on this game, like a, a written, pretty lengthy guide, and it said like all the HP of all the bosses, all the tactics, You're like all right? this stuff. We were so worried. It's good to have you back. That's probably how I knew that thing was undead the first time around, basically. Thank you. Um, I... Yeah. Uh... Yeah, they sort of fuck up the big water dragon, they're like, Hey, let's leave. It's old veiny forehead. I was about to say, what's up with him? He doesn't look quite right. He just dead. Kinok. Now, if you remember, why you? Michael was dead as well. I have saved him. <laughs> he was a man who craved power, and great power he had, but he feared losing it. Trembling at unseen enemies, he spent his days scheming petty schemes, chased by his fears, never knowing rest. You see, now he has no worries. He has been granted sleep eternal. Way to point out. Death is a sweet slumber. <laughs> Way to point out. This was basically the logic I used when I was uh, playing Deus Ex. As I've been doing like a Patreon slash Twitch subscriber series for Deus Ex. There was a dude in his apartment in Deus Ex and he was crying because his daughter like died in a bombing and you know he was about to get evicted like there's an eviction notice on his door came in tranquilized him and then robbed him and I was like now nah, he can have happy dreams I've done him a favor basically the exact same logic of Seymour <laughs> that's kind of funny all the pain of life is gently <laughs> swept away uh, uh, we're both crazy yes so you see if all life were to end in Spira all suffering would end. Don't you see? Do you not agree? That, Yuna, is why I need you. Come, Lady Yuna. That's a very low Come cut shirt. Zanarkand, that is right above his crotch. The lost city of the dead. With death on our side, we will save Spira. And for this, I will take from you your strength, Yuna, your life, and become the next sin. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. You're totally nuts. He wants to be the next sin. Unpleasant. Very well. I will give you your death. You seem to want it so. Yes, yeah, so he just tanked Kamari Spear. For Holbert. Game has more. The game has more dead people walking around than your average zombie apocalypse. You know, not inaccurate. I'm guessing we have a boss fight now. I feel like. I mean, did I save it after every? I think I did. 
Creepy fingers. Okay then. Oh look, his hair's turned to like a weird back shield thing. Yeah, Kamara just didn't care. He's like, I'm just gonna stab this man there. Run! Protect Yuna! Protect Yuna! Go now! Get to no the job and die! <laughs> I said go! Kumari with the shit Arnie impression. <laughs> Arnold, is that you? Ah! Arnold, it's a furry? I won't leave Kamari behind. He is a guardian. Protecting you is everything. You dumb bitch. Oren. That's right. We're all guardians. Wow, really? Yeah. And you know what that means? You got her? Yuna, anywhere you go, I'll follow. Anywhere I go? Yeah, anywhere. How about you go the fuck away so we can protect well, you? Then. Let's you go. Dumbass. Hey, Kamari. Leave some for us. Is it just going to be us three? Hey, wait for me. No, I guess not. Me too. So what you're saying is we all ran away and then immediately ran back again. I don't think we thought this through. Like, at all. I'll go too. <laughs> Orin's like, well, shit. Yeah, I suppose I better help. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I choked on air. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a walk-up. Like, why did it... Why did they have that whole dramatic, like, go! Go now! You're quite pop. Anything you want, I've And then immediately they're like, hey, yeah, let's go back. Like, what was the point of all that dramatic, like, runaway thing? That was very strange. That was very strange. <laughs> oh, God. Like, you think there would have been some time between it now? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Welcome to the chat room. Oh, apparently my, uh, my chat reset. That was weird. Like, you know, it, you could imagine, like, it would have made more sense if it was like, Oh, go now! And then, you know, some time passes and then you hear, like, some screaming or something from Kamari. And then, like, shit, we should go back and help Kamari. We can't leave without him. Like, something like that. But it was like, let's run away. And then immediately, actually, no, let's not. Let's find it. Like, what? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> that was so... It did a 180, like, instantly. It didn't make any sense. Why is there another save point up there? Why is there two save points? In oh, uh, okay, now I see why there's two save points on the bridge. Um, I don't know if I can be fucked to deal with these damn robots. They're kind of annoying. Wait, you take extra damage from fire? <clears throat> Wait, what? But... But... Wait, because all the all the robots so far have been weak to electricity. This thing is weak against fire and water. What about the one in the back? Also fire and water. It's really random. Okay, so again, the uh, the brother is going to be good again. Weird, but sure. Not not going to question it, I suppose. Even though I just did. Summon Ifrit. You know, like still Pokemon. Yeah, but again, all the Machina from earlier were weak against electricity and not fire and water. And now these ones are not weak against electricity, but weak against fire and water. It's like, wait, why are you different? Why are you different from the other ones? <laughs> How silly those robots are. That way they look cool, but the fact they're just doing, like, the the crane, like, from Karate Kid. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, I suppose fire. I suppose. That was pretty pathetic, Ifrit. You deserve that. You are not very good. Yeah, beat the shit out. Oh my god, actually, don't. Stop beating the shit. He's gonna die, isn't he? Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god. You got bloody shredded. Hey, we learned an overdrive. That's pretty sweet. All the games I play make you want to play them. That's because I play good stuff. I try, try not to play bad things. Bonk. <laughs> oh my head. Uh, let's switch into you. We really... Actually, I just realized we could... I'm pretty sure we can actually get Faragher and what have you on uh, on What's-Her-Face now. On Lulu. Which means we can immediately get it on Yuna. Which is going to make her a lot more versatile. Let's try and steal from you. Again, these are not Albed Machina. So they won't instantly die. But she only knows how to do that to the Albed Machina. Even though, again, apparently also so does Kamari. But don't think about it. Uh, Lulu has not had a turn. Hello, I'm Lulu. I have large breasticles. Hey, hey. That was pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. 
Alright, can you get the next overdrive, please? We have had slice and dice for so long, I've used it so many times. Give me the next. God. Damn. Overdrive. Please. Thank you. Yeah, get wrecked, son. Nope, still didn't learn it. You suck. Oh my god, look at that XP. Blah, blah. Alright, so. We can now actually heal our people because you know here about freaking time. There we go. Okay. Sigrid. Lulu. I think she. Ah, she's not quite gonna get there. She's so close, though. Wait, what's that? We should take a detour to go to go get bah, 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 to go get Demi, which again is gonna slow us down. But uh, we weren't gonna get this this run anyway. So how many points do we need? We need like approximately one to backtrack to there. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need seven levels on Lulu. That's doable. We should level up, but let's wait until we get to the next save point because it's it's like right in front of the boss fight apparently. What up, misery? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing better. Okie dokie. I'm going to speed up these fights because we've seen these things already and I'm frankly getting sick of them. I've got the god Tyus hits like a beast now. Like a man beast. A goddamn man beast. Hey, you bonk that fella. There we go. Again, Demi does... Fucking Christ. Uh, Demi does, I think, 50% of the enemy's current HP. A lot of things are immune to it. Uh, you know, robots and stuff like that are, are basically never going to hit, but get hit by Demi. Demi is, um, it's like a gravity-based attack, so it doesn't, just doesn't work on robots. For whatever reason. Now that I think about it, I don't really know why that is, but yeah, just, just don't question it. Just, Demi will not work on machinery. Kind of never really has. So, yeah. And also, it generally isn't going to work on bosses. Now, sometimes it will, but generally it's not going to, because it's just going to make the boss too easy. You know, if the boss is like 40,000 HP, you pop a 20,000 with Demi, it's like, oh... That was easy. Um, so yeah. It's really only good for trash mobs, which makes it, honestly, a bit of a shit spell. Because if it's a trash mob, you're not usually going to need it. It will be useful for certain things, you know, like that Chimera in the Crystally Forest, for example. It would have been good on that at the time, but obviously we didn't have it at the time. Because, you know, that thing had quite a bit of health, and we really were not doing that much damage. However, now we're kind of doing a lot of damage. I don't know, Demi has like a small window where it's kind of useful and against like very specific enemies, so yeah, it's, it's very niche, very niche spell, it doesn't have that much use, to be honest with you. You can't do 20k, yeah, that's also true, yes, we don't have the damage breaker, so it would just do 9999, even if normally it should do more than that. If we get the damage breaker, it would cap out of that, but yeah, just uh, for the sake of argument, I'm saying it would do approximately 20,000, if it could. But yeah, either way, you can still pop 9999 twice. Uh, okay, what is this? Mug. That is just steel, but you also do damage, which is handy. Uh, but again, not right now, because she, her physical damage is so bloody low, it's just irrelevant. Like, she she just doesn't do any damage. Uh, she will, eventually. You know, even eventually, Yuna will do, like, 100,000 damage with her fucking stick by just staffing someone in the face. Uh, but we ain't there yet, so right now, useless, but later on, uh, Mug will be more useful, because then we won't have to essentially waste a turn of damage to steal something. Basically. Alright, we'll go on this way. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I should probably check, yeah, what do we have here? We've got three HP spheres, one magic defense, one luck. Uh, okay, so who's got the worst magic, uh, not magic, um, HP? Still Yuna. Well, Yuna and Lulu, which again makes sense because they're the mages. So, I'm actually going to use an HP Sphere right here. There we go. Just make her a little bit, a little bit less uh, dying, you know? A little bit less dying. Who's your most powerful character now? I think... I think it's Titus joined with Waka. Or about the same. It's all neck and neck. There's Reflect. Reflect, I think, is actually quite good for this battle. And actually, a couple, like the previous battle with uh, with Seymour, it would have been good as well, but we didn't have it at the time. Reflect literally reflects magic back at the user. However, uh, it won't do it more than once. So if I have Reflect and he has Reflect, it's not going to just keep bouncing back and forth infinitely. It will only reflect once. So what you can do is, say Seymour casts Reflect on himself, and we have Reflect on ourselves, you can actually intentionally cast magic on yourself to reflect it back at him. Because obviously, if I cast it on him first, he's going to reflect it back at me once. So I'm still going to get hit. So you kind of have to be a little bit tactical about that. We did say we we're going to go um, go back here and use this level one thingy. 
we could use this strength. Even though, again, it's not that much strength, but it's something. It's something. Uh, what about magic defense? What, what is it? Magic defense? And what's the other one? Luck. Do I want to give Waka luck? Not really. I think I'll save the luck for now. I don't really remember what luck does. I don't think there's a... Actually, is there a description? Let's go check. Right, let's go check. Eidos. Okay, how do we do this again? I'm sure there's a way you can examine the stats. And it will tell you what they do, maybe? Am I wrong about that? I seem to be wrong about that. Alright, never mind then. Yeah, I don't know what luck does. No idea. Okay, walk is the last one. Again, back up here. Oh my god, give me that strength. Yeah, I think after this, walk is going to be the strongest again. But again, they're, they're like really neck and neck. Like very, very neck and neck. Oh my god. Give me that mana. Mana is actually very important for him as well. Because again, he's uh, very useful for using like Dark Buster and what have you. But it costs a lot of mana and he doesn't have that much. Here we go. I'm going to actually make a backup save. Just in case. Yeah. Oh my god. We got Ricky is the most epic character in the game, though. Uh, because of her overdrive, yes, she can be. I've been ambushed. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. That guy has a beard. Oh, I've never noticed that. And yes, they have flamethrowers as well, because they're dicks. Yo, can you stop? I'm trying... Oh, my God. This is why ambushes are annoying. Everyone just smacks the crap out of you. We're going to muck the robot. It mugs some. You know what? 600 damage, I'll take it. Again, she critted. But, uh, I'll take it. I should be taking out the little dudes first. Ow. But again, I don't want this dude to kick me out of the... Oh, yeah. He's probably going to die if the other guy flamethrowers, which, of course, he will, because I think that's their only attack. Yeah, well, there goes Titus. God damn it. Um... Sure, let's just revive him. We should... Honestly, we maybe should just go straight back to the safe point after this to heal up. Like option in general, for example, you cannot uh, hit Dark Anima even at 255 or all things attack. But if you have 150 luck, you can hit Dark Anima. Oh, you mean because of his evasion? Oh, yeah, isn't that thing evasive as shit? Even though it's, like, chained to the floor, which doesn't make any damn sense. Um, sure, we'll go for this because I'm going to kick stuff out of battle. Or kick people out of battle. Again, I'm not going to bother to switch people lane because I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Stop it. It's actually, you know what, it's actually probably a good idea. I'm going to let this dude hit me, weirdly enough, because the Yuna and Tyus are both close to an overdrive. Actually, you know, Tyus gets it from... Yes, yeah, Tyus gets it from killing people, so should we, we should make sure we kill him with Titus, and we might get the overdrive. I'm going to switch him out just so he survives, and then we may as well get the XP on Lulu and Waka, I suppose. And then we're going to skip turns until he hits me again. At least hits Yuna. Because I think she'll get the overdrive out of this, right? Yeah. Smart. Smart plays right there. Now the best PvP fight, so, PvP fight in Dark Souls the dude you fought beat you fair and put put your weapon away so he could execute you. He bowed and he bowed and left. I mean put your weapon away so he could execute you? What? What? I am confuzzled. I am confuzzled. Man, we got a lot of stuff out of that. No! You kidding me? We're starting the battle with low health? Oh, god damn it. It, like, instantly threw me into the fire. Vasquez is overdrive by using the overdrive. Yes, but I mean, like, he has one charge currently. Wait. Did we get health back? No, we didn't. Oh, son of a bitch, that really sucks. Um. Okay, so. I don't remember how this works. So he's got this thing attached to him called Mortar Body. He's got 4,000 health. I think this Mortar Body thing... So it says watch out for the combo attacks. I think it like re... Like regenerates, I think. We could talk to him again. Hmm. I don't know if we should waste time doing that. We should probably just try and get rid of Mortar Body really quick. Uh, shit. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I switch you in, I'm gonna overdrive, I'm gonna mix. And I don't know what to mix, to be honest. I guess I'll just go with a smoke bomb and a grenade and see what it does. Last time that seems good. That was decent, I'll take it. 
And then we're gonna use Slice and Dice and hope we take out Mortibody with this. If we don't, we'll switch in another guy and just try and finish with Mortibody. Because again, Mortibody doesn't have that much health. It's got like 4,000. Can you, can you hit Mortibody, please? I mean, that's something. Titus, goddammit, you suck! Yeah, this is again why you want Reflect. Exactly that. And exactly that. Yeah, this is bad. This is why Reflect is really good. Okay, he does it twice. Right. So, let's be smart. Let's use magic. Let's put Reflect on the lowest health dude, which is you. Also, Yuna has good magic defense, so she could probably tank an attack. Uh, you, I'm going to use a Mega Potion. Yeah, we've got plenty of them. Pop a Mega Potion. Again, only reflects magic, it's not going to reflect the potion. That's another reason Riku is really good, is because she has the Albed Potion. But again, I don't really want to use Riku for this. Uh, let's make sure we take out more body. Again, he's got kind of high defense. Like 300 HP now or something. Oh, it did reflect. Okay, I was very confused what happened there. So again, you got to be careful. If I try and cure myself, I can screw myself over. If I uh... actually, I should have reflected instead. I don't know why I did that. Uh, what we should do is haste her before she reflects herself. Then we will end up hasting the enemy by mistake. <laughs> Mortis Orb. Okay, yeah, it heals itself from him. Oh. Interesting. All right, we're going to Grand Summon. And we're just going to buff him up, because I think this will take out Mortar Body straight away. Because obviously it hits both people. And like I say, I think Mortar Body will regen. But we just want to get rid of it for now. Because honestly, we could probably kill Seymour fairly easily. I don't think it'll be too hard. We don't reflect. We sort of we got the tank down. We know what we're doing. I just don't remember exactly how Mortar Body works is the problem. But yeah, I don't think it would be too bad. So Mortal Body should be down. Oh no, it just... Okay, so it just permanently heals from him. It doesn't die. That's really interesting. I don't realize that. I just banished Bahamut. You son of a bitch. Yeah, it has... He's not the only... Why? Is he the only one? Either way, he can banish summons. So you get one shot with a summon, basically. Right. So Mortal Body cannot die. Except it's got 3,000 max HP now instead of 4,000. So maybe if you kill it enough times, it will go down and die? Who's protected? Okay, he's protected. In that case, we do want to target Mortar Body. We don't have to spell. Do we have to spell? We don't have to spell, actually. Because you can dispel um, Protect. Let's just go for you. Uh, okay, I think we need piercing for him. I think he's armored. He does look armored. Let's talk to him just to get the damage buff or whatever it does. So, you too seek freedom from this painful life? You talk too much, Seymour. Everybody talks too much! Let's get the, I guess, magic buff from you or whatever it is. It is good to see you again, Lady Yuna, but you don't seem pleased. Good to see you two again, you weird looking freak. I'll be pleased when you're gone to the far plane. Oh shit. Oh shit, magic defense. That's, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, do we have the spell? No. I thought we were close to learning it. Yeah, whatever. All right, so we can reflect it now. Again, we got to remember if we are going to cure her, we're going to have to bounce it off of someone. I thought he reflected himself, but maybe that's not now. I don't remember. Uh, delay attack might be a good idea. Delay bust. Greatly delay. Ooh. Delay bust you. I think I'm just killing. Fucking hell, yeah, he did. Again, so he's going to absorb. Does he go down to 2,000 now? It does, okay. So it seems to be losing 1,000 HP every time. Interesting. We're kind of learning here as we go. Going to leave you in. Um, we're only going to get like one shot. Had I realized that, I would have not used my Grand Summon on Bahama. Because Bahama already had uh, an overdrive. So when you Grand Summon, it gives you a free overdrive on the, on the summon that you summon. Um, the Aeon that you summon. So essentially, we had two overdrives in a row, but we didn't get to use it because, again, he he will banish after one move. So it's almost pointless even summoning on her, unless you have an overdrive, which we don't. 
Prey is good though because Prey is not a magic spell, so we can actually heal with this and not have it reflect. Who have we not used? I don't think we've used Lulu. We definitely use Walker. I think I think it's the last one we need to use. Uh, Demi ain't gonna do anything. I don't know. We're just just blizzard this little shit. I think magic might be quite good in this thing. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I actually want to see what happens when you get rid of Mortar Body. Like, it, when it, you know, goes... It looks like next time it's going to go to 1,000 health, and then after that, maybe it either stays at 1,000 or if it will just permanently die. I do not know. I do not know. And then we'll reflect a lot. Well, I don't really want to use Lulu. Well, I guess we do want to use Lulu here, because she's, she's doing decent, so we'll reflect her as well. Lovely. Good luck. Now you can basically not hit me. Good luck with that, sir. Uh, could, like, shell or protect or something. Well, no, I guess we can't because we're all reflected. We'll just keep praying, I guess. Yeah! Praise be to you, Yevon. Alright. Take this fucker out. Again, I'm just going to target him as opposed to Seymour. Because, I mean, he's doing damage to Seymour anyway when he heals. Not a lot, admittedly. I just want to know if it dies permanently. Because I don't remember. Oh, good. It's using Cura. You little shit. You little shit. And actually, Seymour is two thirds dead, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Get it up. Yeah. I'll get this bastard. Okay, does it die permanently? Doesn't look like it, does it? No, okay, so a thousand is as low as it goes. Well, now we know. Okay. Again, you just kind of pointless for this battle, so we should probably switch someone else in, but the problem is if we do that, they're not going to be reflected, and we don't really have a way of reflecting them. Um, but, I'll try it anyway. Wait, we can talk with him as well. Although he was not the man I once knew, Kinok was still my friend, Seymour. You will pay for his death! Damn, Oren's pissed! I should reflect on any... Oh, yeah! If I reflect him, you're right. You are, you are, 100% right. You can actually stop him curing Seymour. With Reflect. I knew there was some kind of way of, like, reason for bouncing spells around here. There you go. Seymour's reflected now, so if he tries to cure him, it'll bounce back on the rise. Uh... Yes, we... Well, yeah, no, we can't... See, <laughs> problem is now I can't use a Lulu on him. Because then it'll just... Well, actually, no, I totally can. I can just bounce off of me. But then it might hit Mortar Body. Or whatever his name is. It sounds like a butler. <laughs> Mortar Body. Uh, you know, I don't really care too much about. Who do you want to use? Hmm. I think Kamari with a piercing weapon is probably going to do the most damage. Like that one. Yeah, yeah, you cure him. Oh, you muppet. Really wish that worked on Aura, but whatever, I'll take it. Hey, man. Bench. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, it's really hard to remember the damn controls. Alright, I would like to overkill him, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. Let's weaken him a little bit more. Really, Kamari? Really? You deserve that, sir. You deserve that. Yeah, sure. Oh. You're doing the closest he's got full HP. Um, hmm. How are we gonna overkill him? I don't know if we can. We don't really have anything that's gonna hit hard enough, I don't think. Yeah, fuck it. Just... Oh, we critted. I'll take it. No, I'm melting. Oh, what a world. We did it, everyone. We beat the final boss of the game. He will totally never come back. Ever. Level 2 key sphere. Four of them. Ooh, and hot knuckles. Hot knuckles, check it and see. We escaped with our skins intact, I but Yuna lost something. I could already tell her faith was shaken. Yevon had betrayed her. He more didn't want to kiss her that day. I felt like I should do or say something, anything. Hey, bitch, cheer up. But nothing came. I was just as lost as she was. And then... Oh, this is... Uh, I remember where this is. I remember this, well, Cutscene. We're all clear. We will have to avoid Bevel in the future. We're outlaws. And the Ren. Yuna. Said she wanted to be alone. 
Of course. So good. Maybe you should talk to her. Maybe you should get out of the way of the safe one. Must be tough for Yuna. Maybe, maybe you I should. Maybe, maybe you should get out of. Maybe, maybe you should get out of the way of the. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If Yuna figures out where we're going, that is. Maybe you should get out of the way of the safe one. I am. Oh my god. Maybe, maybe. I feel kind of bad leaving everything up to her, you know. Maybe, uh, maybe you should move. I am. <laughs> okay, that was hard work. Jesus Christ. Good Lord. Wonder what Yuni will do, huh? Think she'll quit her pilgrimage? Probably. That's what you want, right? Well, if Yuni really wants to keep going, then I guess I shouldn't stop her, you know? She really wants to die. What am I to stand in her way? Hello, Lulu. Yuna's off in the woods. Yeah. Kumari's with her, but maybe you should go too. All right, I will. Bitch, do we get battles here? I feel like we do. Are we alone? No, we're not. Well, we're probably gonna get battles then. Hello, Yuda? Oh, that's Kamari. Hello. Okay, not got much to say there. Do more Doxos PvP stuff. And... I'll pass. I don't like Doxos 3 PvP. It's just people wearing a gank, man. Like, I, I could not get a good fight for hours. I always thought that this would be easier somehow. I thought that everyone would help me with all my friends together beside me. No, yeah, I know it doesn't matter how much health the, the enemy has when I've you overkill them. So hard. It's just like a certain threshold of damage you have to do. Maybe you're trying too hard. So I was like, eh. Everything. Let's smack him anyway. So I did. Everything? Well, so then... You know. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just... You know, all those things I said. Like, let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. I was fucking miserable. I was happy. <gasps> Yuna. He's a witch. Burn him. Just don't do it. The pilgrimage? Uh, yeah. That's right. Forget all about sin. Uh, about being a summoner. Forget all that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna. What do you say? Come on, what do you say? Give up on what you've been working for your entire life. <laughs> Maybe I will. Wouldn't everyone be surprised? Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. Lulu and Waka wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes, too, I know. But Sir Oren. I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. No. I should tell him. He deserves it. Never leave a job for a piece of ass. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What'll I do if I give up my pilgrimage? Become a singer. Hey, Xanarkin. Let's go to Xanarkin. 
You could become a sim singer. Uh, not the one in Spira. The one I'm from. Looks like I'm referencing something, isn't it? Uh, yeah. We can all fly there. Everyone can go. Then we'll have a big party at my place. And then we could see Blitzball. That's right. And we'll wear party hands. And Abe's would play? Yeah. And we'll we dance with little magical gnomes. In the stadium all lit up at night. I cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on. Well, what about after the game? Huh? We'd go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> no in problem. Xanarkin <laughs> never sleeps. Oh, it's been sleeping for a while, son, let me tell you. Did you see what Sin did to it? Let's go to the sea. Before the sunrise. She should be a voice actor, yeah. The stars fade. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. It's really pretty. Down here they float. They all float. I know you'd like it. You're a woman. You'll like pretty colors, right? I'd like to see it. Someday. Well, you can, Yuna. We can both go. Way to go. You fucking made her cry. I just can't. You muppet. I can't go. Water physics don't work in this world, do they? Not really, no. Whoa! Hey, it's green screeny again. Awesome. Ah. Uh, oh, fuck me. Oh, I'm going to have to find it on YouTube, aren't I? Jesus Christ, I need to patch this fucking version of the game. Alright, I'm just going to skip the fucking cutscene. I'll show you in a second. Hang on. Alright, let me find the cutscene on YouTube. God! Patch the game, Square! Jesus! Alright, hang on. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like the third time I've had to do this, maybe fourth. Uh Yuna Tyus Water Scene. I spelled scene wrong. Good 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 work there, Brain. Oh yeah, I found it. Twelve minutes long. Wow, you recorded the whole thing, didn't you? Okay, hang on. Blah 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 blah. They're talking about the horizon. Alright, here's here's the here's the cutscene. I found it. Okay. No momento, poor favor. I don't know if this has commentary, let's check. I don't think so. Don't think so. Okay, I'll mute it. It's probably gonna be loud as shit, so get your eardrums. There we go to full screen. Hello, full screen. Hello. Why is it black? Why why are you black? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Alright, hang on. Properties. Capture. Why are you being such an asshole? Oh my god, why is it doing this? I just, like, show the screen game, or OBS, whatever you're doing. Hmm, alright, hang on. Let me try and make a new one. Uh, camp trap for display. Yes. No. Why is it not working? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I capture the window, then? Remove that. Capture the window, like the YouTube window, I suppose, I don't know. Uh, browser? No. Where's window capture? Display? No, I did that. Game capture? Window capture. Okay. Uh, this one. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Not really working, is it? Hmm. Well, 
Fuck. <laughs> Are you going to play Final Fantasy X 2? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, you saw a search bar for a moment. Yeah, I don't know why- Oh look, you can see my mouse cursor, but the screen is black for you. Why is he doing this? It sh the full screen thing should just work, I haven't changed anything. It just sometimes does, this is very strange. Why is it working now? What? I didn't do anything. Okay, you know what? Just just roll with it, Jason. Doesn't make any sense. Go. Okay, anyway, this is, this is the cutscene just fucked up. He looks surprisingly wet now, as does she. Yuna. Stop crying, you fucking bitch. I think this is copyright to hell. This is the second time today she's been forcibly kissed against her will. This poor woman. I can't tell if we're underwater now, it doesn't really look like it. This music. So emotional. I think anime has ruined music from Japan for me. I'm sure this is a lovely song and very emotional, but when I hear Japanese singing now, I just imagine weebs, and it makes me laugh. Baz likes game. He should have had her clothes off by this point. Like, he should have been working that bra the entire time. Missed opportunity, my friend. Missed opportunity. Look, it's like a crescent moon. Alright, there you go. That was the cutscene that fucked up. Ooh, okay, at least it worked eventually. Man, what a pain in the ass. They really have to patch this version so we stop using those green screens. It's really annoying. Continue. I must. Mm. If I give up now, I'll do anything I wanted to. You become a singer. And yet, even if I was with you, I could never forget. It could be my computer, but again, it's only happening with this game, so... Pfft. Seems to be the game. I'll go with you. What? I'm your guardian. Unless I'm fired. Yeah, I put links on subs only, because we were getting people coming, advertising, you know, Stay hackery shit. Until the end. Stay with me until I'm dead. Oh, okay. Not until the end. Until the beginning. Always. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a link for. Okay. Always then. Uh, I think. I, yeah, I still have it. I'll save the link. Give me a second. Because even though it gets purged, I can still see it. Copy. Maybe you should head back to Open camp notepad. first. Yes. Thank you. Roger. Roger, Dodger. Yeah, Nightbot's, uh, it rules with an iron fist. A clenched iron fist. <gasps> I got an achievement called Heartstrings, because they pulled on mine. 
I can't talk to Yuna anymore. All right, then, you ignorant bitch. I see how it is. You fuck her brains out, and then she doesn't want to talk to you. She's like, oh, daddy, it was the best sex of my life. And then she just won't talk to you anymore. I see how it is, Yuna. I see how it is. Wait. I'll go with you. Oh, okay. I, I kind of figured you would. Ah, uh, look, they're holding hands and clipping through each other's hands. Isn't that adorable and glitchy? Emotions, everyone. Emotions. Hey, everyone. We're a couple now. I fucked their brains out. And then he high fives Kamari. Kamari's like, yeah, I know why you're high fiving me. Um, Sir Oren? Waka? Waka. Lulu? Kamari? Riku? Everyone, we leave at dawn. Avengers, assemble! And. Titus, you don't have a name. I'm sorry for putting you through all this. And I'm... Enough. You need your rest. Yes. Yeah, the less talking you do, the better. Good night. Let's be honest. You're just eye candy, bitch. I thought he was floating for a second. I thought he'd become like a Buddha or something. I was like, what? Uh, excuse me, chest. Excuse me. Excuse me, chest. Uh, no, excuse me, chest. Gimme, gimme. What do we get? What do we get? Lucid ring. Yeah, we know who wears rings. It's this bitch. The one whose ass we just tapped. Where is it? Sun's Walk Fusion Ward. Sure, you can equip those, I suppose. And rhymes. Is there anything over here? No, there's nothing at all. Anything over here? Nope. Oh, wait, wait. Where am I? Oh, I'm lost. I'm off the screen. Help me. Hi, guys. Does anybody of you have a plan for you? Who the hell is this? Were you here before? Hey, did you hear this saying there was a riot in Bevel? Had nothing to do with me. You want to join my Blitzball team? No, she doesn't. Stuck up, bitch. Was this where we were having water sex? No. Who are you? Guy in Bevel now. The guard's on full alert, you know? Just go back to where you came from, got it, you fucking scum. All right, sir. No need for that kind of language. Uh, this was Water Sex Town, wasn't it? Yes, this is where Water Sex took place. Uh, is there anything here? Can we go in the water? <gasps> we can't. Damn it. But we could for a moment. There should be nothing. The music's all plinky plonky and happy, which leads me to believe we can't get battles here. And certainly uh, doesn't seem to be the case. All right, so they went to the right, so we're going to try heading left, because there's a path down here. Is this where I think it is? Maybe. I think this loops... Yes. This takes us back... Oh, hello. This takes us back to the uh, the magical forest with the, the butterflies and what have you. And there are people here now. I am disgusted. Maybe we can get bells here. I'm supposed to meet my dad here, but he's late. Your dad's dead as hell. I think we can go rescue him or something. I'm supposed to meet my husband here, but he hasn't shown up for the longest time. Hmm. Well, I have a spear to look at, so you're going to have to wait. Your husband... Your husband's demise is just going to have to wait. Wait. Why is there a magical bridge there now? That wasn't there before. Okay, that's weird. Look at this. It's a jet sphere. Let's have a look. Oh, who they should be? But she looks hot. I think Jet's being a pervert. Who are you? Oh wait, Jet doesn't have the camera. Is Warren have the, the camera? The one they call Jet. The man from Zanarkin. Are you not? What of it? What of it? Watch your tongue, Knave. Who's the cameraman? Ah, uh, my apologies. I am Braska, a summoner. I've come to take you from this place. Where does love me? Mm, sounds sweet. What's the catch? <laughs> that easy to see, was it? I soon leave on a pilgrimage. 
to Zanakin. I want you to come die for me. Seriously? And become a giant flowing well like of death. To join us. Oh. It will be a dangerous trip. You insist. Yet, if we do reach Zanarkand, my prayers will be answered, and you will be able to go home. We think. What say you? Great, let's go. Hmm. So quick. Anything to get out of here. Yeah. Then it's settled. But I must protest. This drunkard, a guardian? Hey! You want to step in here and say that? What does it matter? No one truly believes that I, a fallen summoner wed to an Albed, could possibly mm. defeat sin. Plot revelations. This is what they say. No one expects us to succeed. Yuna's mother's an Albed. Braska, sir. Let's show them they're wrong. That's why Yuna has one green Albedi eye. A man from Zanarkin. And a warrior monk doomed to obscurity for refusing the hand of the priest's daughter. What delightful irony it would be if we defeated Sin. Wait, which priest? Stop gabbing and get me out of here. Does he mean he Does he mean Yuna? Did he try and wed him to Yuna or is he talking about a different priest? <sighs> Is he even a priest? Free at last. Not really. He's a summoner, right? Now, Jack. I am in your hands until we reach Zanarkand. Right, right. So, what's a summoner anyway? Like how old West the music sounds. What's one of them summoners? I don't understand this word. Uh, so we should probably go exploring up there. So it's going on with the magical bridge. However. I'm going to end the stream here. I realize uh, I did say I was probably going to play Papers, Please, but it's very late. This went on for longer than I was expecting to. So we'll do Papers, Please another day. Uh, or I'll record it for YouTube or something. Either way, I'll definitely be playing it. So, he's talking about Auron. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm trying to figure out who this um, priest is that he... He said, like, basically he was going to wed Auron to this priest's daughter. Or someone was going to. But I don't know who the priest is. So I'm trying to figure out, is Braska the priest? Because if so, then he was trying to set him up with Yuna, which is fucking weird. But I don't think so, because he's way too old for her. But, uh, it's confusing. Anyway, there's my links. Join the Discord, etc, etc. Thank you for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you everyone for the support and stopping by. I appreciate you hanging out. I hope you have a good rest of your night. I accidentally closed the fucking webpage. Fuck my balls. Um, yes, like I say, I will definitely do some papers, please. I might record it for YouTube specifically. Or I might do it on a different stream, I don't know. But either way, keep an eye out for that. Uh, and thank you to this month's patrons who are Miss Justice 83, Dr. Papa Penguin, Rohan Dani, Billing 9, Shadow Sephiroth 666, Make the Devil, Jeremy Burris, Philip Rep, Luna Parker, Vincent Clark, Fume Knight, George Blackwell, Black Wolf 8994, Ixa, Hitbox, Nira H, and Pedro Marquez. Thank you, everyone. 